Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. Marvel, The Strongest Psychic System. Chapter 1. Under the Mountain and Sea. Turn your hands over the rain and no yellow sand. Thank you for your love. Fire Burial Capital, Hometown and Green Mountains. A ten-year dream, love and hate break the Buddha. An alarm sounded, and an arm stretched out from under the blanket, sliding his finger to turn off the phone alarm. Ah, another day full of vitality. Su Mo Ching yawned dazedly, and reluctantly got up from the warm bed. This big winter can really be cold dead man, and every day he wakes up and has to fight in his heart. Get up early in the morning and open the window, and I feel so beautiful. Da. After getting dressed, Su Mo Ching hummed a small tune and opened the curtains, and then he was stunned. Looking at the vast expanse of the lake outside the window and the unfamiliar mountains and forests around it, Su Mo Ching's head crashed and looked a little bewildered. What's the situation? It's so difficult for me to cross it after I sleep. It's unscientific. Ding. The strongest psychic system has been activated. Before Su Mo Ching could figure out the situation, a mechanized synthesis sound without any emotion suddenly sounded. The strongest psychic system. What the hell? Su Mo Ching looked around vigilantly and found that there were no other people in the room and nothing suspicious. After calming down, he realized that the sound just now seemed to be coming from his mind. Could it be that? I really crossed. This strongest psychic system is my gold finger. Su Mo Ching was half happy and half worried. Su Mo Ching is an ordinary wage earner. His parents had a car accident two years ago and unfortunately passed away. In order to make a living, Su Mo Ching's grades are not very good. This weekend, I was going to make an appointment with a girl, and I was going to be uninhibited, but I didn't expect to encounter this kind of thing. After coming, Su Mo Ching is also very nervous. After reacting, he asked, System, where is this place, I will come here like this. And what is going on with this house, have you also passed through it together? Host, you are now in the earth of the Marvel Universe. The reason why you have traveled here is because of the novice benefits given by the system. As for your room, it is just incidental. Oh, it turns out to be the Marvel Universe, then I can rest assured. Su Mo Ching didn't react at first, but suddenly thought of something, and excitedly said, Wait, you said it is the Marvel Universe. I believe in your evil, and quickly send me back to my original world. Where is the Marvel Universe? Super villains are everywhere, there are as many alien creatures as dogs. Maybe someday a purple sweet potato essence named Thanos would wipe out himself with the snap of his fingers. Su Mo Ching prefers Marvel movies, but that doesn't mean he wants to travel to the Marvel world. Sorry, this crossing is a benefit given to you by the system. If you want to return to the original world, you need to consume 100 million points. Welfare, then don't I still want to thank you. Hearing the voice of the system without the slightest emotion, Su Mo Ching tried his best to keep himself calm, muttering to herself, people are dead and eggs are in the sky, immortal for thousands of years, not to mention that Lao Su is now also a systematic man, and he will definitely be able to mix well. From the water, in the future, punch Thor, step on Thanos, marry the most beautiful girl, and rise to the pinnacle of life. Just thinking of this, Su Mo Ching was still a little excited. In the next second, Su Mo Ching felt the scene change before her, and unknowingly entered a huge amounts of dark space. System, what is this place? How to get out? Looking at the dark and depressing surroundings, Su Mo Ching suddenly had a special feeling, as if the world was under his control, and he could clearly feel the situation in every place. This feeling was very mysterious. This is the host's psychic space, between existence and non-existence. The host can enter and exit freely just by silently entering or leaving. That's it, leave. After a thought, Su Mo Ching returned to the original room as expected. Seeing this, Su Mo Ching couldn't help but become active. This, psychic space, is a good place. If used well, it is equivalent to the divine power space with soil in Naruto. It can avoid most of the dangers, and it can be regarded as a safety guarantee. Enter. With a thought, Su Mo Ching returned to the psychic space, again, and then asked, system, do you have an interface version or something? System interface generation. The sound of mechanization sounded, and then a translucent color interface version appeared in front of Su Mo Ching's eyes. Host, Su Mo Ching, current psychic points, zero. Immediately, ordinary early stage. 
psychic creature. None. Ability. None. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting a newbie gift pack. Do you receive it? The mechanized voice sounded again, and Su Moching recovered, and immediately said, Get it. There are cheap things that do not take the fool. Now Su Moching is in urgent need of some capital to settle down, so naturally he will not refuse. Congratulations to the host for getting 1000 psychic points and one psychic beast Godzilla egg. As soon as the voice of the system fell, 1000 psychic points were added to the interface version, and at the same time, in front of Su Moching, a black dome nearly 2 meters high appeared. This thing is the egg of Godzilla, the king of monsters. It won't hatch and kill me. Please rest assured the host, the psychic creatures provided by the system will be 100% loyal to the host. Su Moching hesitation for a while and said, Then believe you once, how can I make it hatch? Godzilla requires one year to hatch normally, and 800 psychic points are consumed for immediate incubation. Does the host need to incubate immediately? Hatch immediately. 800 points deducted, incubating. As soon as Su Moching's words fell, a crack appeared in the void, and a burst of purple cyan unknown energy slowly poured into the dome. About 10 minutes later, Su Moching took the opportunity to ask some things about the system, such as the function of psychic points, how to obtain it, the body function owned by the system, and so on. The main function of the strongest psychic system is that the non-human creatures of the psychic heavens and all realms act as the host. The so-called psychic points need to be obtained by completing tasks or hunting other creatures. As long as you have enough psychic points, you can obtain various psychic beasts through the system. Between psychic beasts, there are also strong and weak points, which can be roughly divided into ordinary, elite, army breaking, disaster, extinction, universe, and god. And each level is divided into three stages, early stage, middle stage, and late stage. Every time he obtains a psychic beast, Su Moching can obtain a kind of ability from the psychic beast. Just when the system was popularized, the cracks in the void gradually healed, and the Godzilla dome began to agitate. Kacha, Kacha, the egg shell was destroyed from the inside out. First, a file-size egg shell fell from the palm of the hand. Some transparent liquid flowed out from it. Through the gap, Su Moching saw a beast pupil that was file-size like a bull's eye. Kakcha, Kakcha, then two claws with sharp claws protruded from the gap, tearing the dome into pieces in a few strokes, and then a little black Godzilla about the same height as Su Moching appeared in front of Su Moching. The baby Godzilla looks a bit like a small dinosaur. The whole body is dark brown. There is a layer of horny layer of unknown substance on the body. There is still egg liquid on the body. After seeing Su Moching, it is like seeing a family member, twisted and twisted. Walked towards Su Moching. Stop, stop, Su Moching hurriedly shouted. The little Godzilla stopped immediately, with big round eyes, looking at Su Moching dumbly, as if a little sad. Su Moching breathed a sigh of relief when he saw the little Godzilla stop. After all, this was the first time he had come into contact with a monster like Godzilla. Coupled with the size of the little Godzilla, it was indeed a bit stressful, even if he felt it secretly. Su Moching still had some lingering fears when he had some connection with the little Godzilla and knew that the other party would not hurt him. Looking at the little Godzilla who was standing obediently, Su Moching adjusted his mentality before stepping forward, turning around it, and then making gestures. Even the young Godzilla is not small, almost as tall as the 1.8 meter Su Moching, showing burly and fat, strong and powerful limbs, more than 1 meter long tail, and occasionally open his mouth to reveal sharp teeth. Going up is quite sturdy. At least Su Moching felt that if they fought, he would definitely not be an opponent. Yeah, the little Godzilla stood blankly, not understanding what his master was doing, and his mouth was whirring from time to time, and he was very docile. Su Moching touched the little Godzilla's head with his fingers, and then information about Godzilla appeared in his eyes. Psychic Beast, Godzilla, Category, Universe Monster, Status, Juvenile, Potential, Level Universe, Current Level, Normal Midterm, Ability, Monster Physique, Other Abilities Are Not Activated, Description, Godzilla has a strong physique. The amount of DNA information contained in its body is n times that of humans. It does not need to go through a long period of reproduction and evolution to obtain the ability to adapt to different environments. 
The body has what can be called a biological atomic furnace, thermonuclear energy conversion organ, carrying new elements. Simply put, as long as he has a monster physique, Su Mo Ching's power, speed, defense and potential will be greatly improved. Seeing this, Su Mo Ching was very excited. If he had the physique of Godzilla and fully grown up, it wouldn't be a problem to squeeze the fat green man. Does the host extract Godzilla's ability? Extract. Su Mo Ching chose to extract without hesitation. Suddenly, a ray of light burst out from Godzilla and enveloped Su Mo Ching. Su Mo Ching felt that the connection between him and Godzilla felt close. At the same time, a warm current continuously poured into his body and melted into his limbs. What? At first I felt very comfortable, but as the warm current continued to infuse, Su Mo Ching felt that his body was about to burst, painful, and then his eyes went dark and fainted. I don't know how long it took. Su Mo Ching felt that something was licking himself, and when he opened his eyes, he saw the big head of the little Godzilla, which made him jump up. The jump was more than two meters high, and Su Mo Ching reacted after landing, feeling that his whole body was full of power. Host. Su Mo Ching. Current Psychic Points. 200. Psychic Creature. Godzilla. Ability. Monster Physique. Level. Normal Midterm. After taking a look at the attributes on the system interface, Su Mo Ching returned to the real room. At the moment Su Mo Ching is full of energy, but feels very hungry. There is no grain in the rental house, so I can only find it outside if he wants to eat. Although I learned that I came to the Marvel Universe, based on the current situation, I was likely to appear in a deserted place, otherwise a house would appear out of thin air, and a large number of people would have been attracted long ago. Moreover, Su Mo Ching has not yet figured out the time period he has traveled to. This is very important, and the degree of danger varies from time to time. For example, during the mutant apocalypse period and the period before Iron Man, it was relatively safe. At least during the period, there will be no global disasters at every turn. After moving all the useful items in the room to the psychic space, Su Mo Ching walked out of the empty room. When he came to the room, Su Mo Ching saw clearly the rental house he was in, which was located on the shore of the lake. There are dense woods and mountains on the four weeks, occasionally unknown flying birds pass by in the sky, and Su Mo Ching's room is like an independent single room, which is very conspicuous in this deserted place. I don't know how the landlord will feel when he knows it, maybe I might be in the headlines. Su Mo Ching let out a laugh, and then looked around. After the strengthened vision confirmed that there was no one else, the idea of psychic Godzilla arose. Psychicism. Su Mo Ching yelled some of the second graders, and then slapped the ground with one hand. Wow, I saw a three-meter circular formation on the ground in front of me. The fat, fat, and somewhat cute Godzilla quickly rose from the formation like an elevator. In fact, Su Mo Ching summons psychic beasts, as long as his mind moves, the reason why he chants, psychic art, is to add drama to himself. Or it feels so awesome. As soon as the little Godzilla exited the, psychic space, he immediately watched the surrounding situation on alert, screaming, yeah, in his mouth, as if he was ready to fight at any time. After experimenting with psychics, Su Mo Ching was satisfied with the effect and patted the little Godzilla on the head, it's okay, there are no enemies here, you go back first. After speaking, Su Mo Ching's heart moved, and a circular formation appeared at the feet of the little Godzilla again, and the figure of the little Godzilla was instantly submerged in it. After Godzilla returned to the psychic space, Su Mo Ching decided to figure out where he was now. The scene in front of him was like a virgin forest far away from the city, but Su Mo Ching was not sure if anyone would show up. If someone sees Godzilla, it will cause him a lot of trouble. But Su Mo Ching soon found out that he was thinking too much. Because he just walked to the river, he felt a vibration from the ground. Bang, bang, bang. The vibration became more apparent, and after a while, Su Mo Ching saw a gorilla more than 20 meters high, or King Kong jumped out of the forest. The huge amounts of body shape were simply shocking, and the moment King Kong crossed Su Mo Ching's head, a gust of wind blew up. Bang! King Kong fell on the lake, the ground shook violently, and the lake raised large waves, and Su Mo Ching's house was directly destroyed. You ma, isn't that the Marvel Universe? What the hell is this 20 meter high King Kong? Su Mo Ching hid behind a big tree, trying not to attract the other's attention. 
King Kong didn't notice Su Mo Ching's little little bit. He climbed over the hillside across the lake with a few ups and downs, and then disappeared into Su Mo Ching's sight. After confirming that King Kong had gone away, Su Mo Ching breathed a sigh of relief. Looking at the collapsed house, the joy of gaining strength was washed away in an instant. Originally obtained the monster physique, Su Mo Ching felt that he could fight ten, but after seeing the size of King Kong, Su Mo Ching said that he couldn't provoke it, and couldn't provoke it. At the same time, I couldn't help reminding myself, worthy development, don't worry. Seeing King Kong's huge footprints by the lake, Su Mo Ching thoughtfully. Based on the experience summed up from the movies and novels he has seen in the past, Su Mo Ching concluded that he is more than 90% likely to be on an unknown island in the sea. This is not good news. He is not an explorer, and he has no experience in survival in the wild. In such an unfamiliar location, unknown monsters may pop up from time to time, and the probability of death is not low. After thinking for a while, Su Mo Ching's heart moved and summoned the little Godzilla again. King Kong, a behemoth that is more than 20 meters away, is there, and the ghost knows what monsters will exist here. Without calling Godzilla out, Su Mo Ching was really hopeless. Definitely, Su Mo Ching summoned the little Godzilla, not wanting to beat King Kong. Godzilla is powerful, otherwise there will be no title of King of Monsters, but at present the little Godzilla is still in his infancy, and now to trouble with King Kong, it is estimated that it will only be enough to stuff his teeth. After seeing King Kong, Su Mo Ching's heart became stronger and couldn't help but rush. After calming down the shock caused by King Kong for a while, Su Mo Ching and the little Godzilla walked into the forest. If possible, Su Mo Ching did not want to take risks, but he had no food and had to act, otherwise he would only starve to death. One person and one beast walked through the densely vegetation jungle, little Godzilla opened the way in front, and Su Mo Ching followed behind the little Godzilla. With the monster physique, Su Mo Ching's physical stamina has been greatly strengthened, and he can lift more than 200 caddies with one hand, which is incredible for people who were still in sub-health not long ago. Moreover, Su Mo Ching also clearly felt that his physique seemed to be able to absorb a certain special energy in the air, and it was getting stronger all the time. But this does not alleviate hunger. Unlike Su Mo Ching, this humanoid beast, Godzilla is a real beast and a natural predator. It adapts to ability and is much stronger than Su Mo Ching. He quickly enters the state, sniffs the air in the air, and then whispers to the north. For a moment, Su Mo Ching has no experience in hunting at all, so he pinned his hopes on the little Godzilla. It's up to you to eat meat or soup. Yeah, little Godzilla understood Su Mo Ching's words, whispered, sniffed, and then continued to move forward. After a while, the little Godzilla stopped, and Su Mo Ching followed the little Godzilla's gaze. I saw a giant deer nearly three meters tall in the forest ahead, grazing. This thing should be edible, and it doesn't look great, do it. Su Mo Ching was already hungry, but he didn't care about the animal protection law or whether the other party cherished the animals. After observing the surrounding situation, he asked the little Godzilla to go around behind the giant deer and prepare to attack on both sides. This is the first time for Su Mo Ching to hunt large animals. Moreover, the conditions were limited, and there was no weapon to weigh his hands. Su Mo Ching only found a wooden stick with a thick arm and a piece of bluestone weighing 10 kilograms, and then slowly approached the giant deer. However, Su Mo Ching underestimated the animal's perception of danger. When he was more than 20 meters away from Julu, he was discovered. Shish, the giant deer's ears moved. Hearing the movement, he raised his head with antlers like a tree, screamed suddenly, and began to run away. Su Mo Ching's fat meat that can reach his mouth just ran away, and immediately smashed the stone in his hand. Unfortunately, his strength was not small, but his accuracy was not satisfactory, and he didn't even touch a piece of jeweler's hair. Seeing the stone smashed into the air, Su Mo Ching rushed up with a wooden stick. Its speed was comparable to that of a cheetah. However, because of the lack of flexibility and control after acquiring the monster's physique, the giant deer almost hit the tree instead of catching it. Fortunately, the little Godzilla was more powerful. Seeing the right time, he rushed out of the jungle, bit the giant deer's throat with one bite, and fell to the ground. The giant deer wailed a few times, and then died. Ding, congratulations to the host for killing the giant deer in the wilderness and rewards 15 psychic points. 
At the same time that Julu died, a system prompt sounded in Su Mo Ching's mind. Good job. Su Mo Ching stepped forward and patted the little Godzilla on the head to show encouragement. Now that we have the meat, we should consider how to eat it. There are many crises hidden in the jungle, not to mention the huge amounts of monsters, even an inconspicuous bug or a small grass can sometimes kill a person. Su Mo Ching had no knowledge and common sense, so he wouldn't be so stupid to make a barbecue on the spot. In order to avoid the bloody smell attracting those unknown carnivores, Su Mo Ching threw the giant deer into the psychic space and prepared to barbecue in the psychic space. Wow, just as Su Mo Ching was picking up firewood, a wolf howl sounded. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Then, waves of wolves howled one after another, accompanied by the breaking of branches and the rustling of footsteps, the owner of the roar appeared in Su Mo Ching's sight. This is a group of monsters that look a bit like dinosaurs and giant wolves. They use their hind limbs to walk, and their sharp forelimbs are used as attack weapons. The spine is partly exogenous, full of spikes, full of sharp teeth, and that pointed. The long claws all show that they are a very vicious carnivore. This thing seems to be a dagger spine jackal, so to speak, the place where I am is Skull Island. Su Mo Ching was thoughtful. In fact, when he saw King Kong before, he had guessed, but he was not sure, but after seeing the group of creatures in front of him, he was basically certain. In addition to King Kong on Skull Island, there are Wings of Icarus, Swamp Giant Squid, Scary Vulture, Dead Soul Island Monster, Spine Jackal, and Skeleton Monitor on the island. Holy Tiger, and Evil Water Honey Locust, and other unknown creatures. Each of them has a freak-looking face, among which the sword Spine Jackal is the most energetic creature on the island, with the agility of a leopard and the bite force of a great white shark. The spine of this creature is exogenous, full of fibrous spines, and the sharpness is like iron wire. They have been in a cruel and ferocious state for a long time. When they are hungry, they will attack the same species and even eat themselves when there is no food. Looking at the appearance of these spine jackals, it was obvious that he and Godzilla were prey. One, two, three. Seven sword spine jackals, it's not easy to deal with. Seeing the spine back jackal slowly surrounding him, Su Mo Ching's face sank. These sword spine jackals are very large, more than three meters tall, and two meters short, with a mouth full of fangs and a mouth full of blood, and they shed fishy saliva from time to time. The seven sword spine jackal's bright eyes looked at Su Mo Ching and the little Godzilla with fierce eyes, but they didn't directly rush over, as if they were observing. Yeah, facing the tall spine jackal, the little Godzilla didn't fret at all, and uttered a needless roar, as if he didn't accept it. System task. Dominate Skull Island. The mission time limit is one year. Completion rewards. 5,000 psychic points, one random psychic, upgrade psychic space, no penalty for failure. Does the host receive it? At a tense moment, Su Mo Ching's mind sounded a system mechanization prompt. Seeing that there is no punishment for failure, Su Mo Ching said silently, receive. It is the best to succeed, even if it fails, there is no loss. There is nothing good about this kind of hesitation. At this moment, several spine spine jackals couldn't bear it and began to move around. Little Godzilla is not to be outdone, and is ready to do it at any time. Go back. After receiving the task, Su Mo Ching had a thought to summon the little Godzilla back to the psychic space and at the same time, he also entered the psychic space. The hero doesn't suffer from the immediate loss, and now he and Godzilla have not grown up yet, if they fight with these spine spine jackals, one on one may be able to fight. Can the opponent go heads up? Su Mo Ching didn't think that these vicious hungry wolves would be sent to the door one by one for him to fight. Su Mo Ching and Godzilla have huge amounts of potential, but potential is not strength. There are many wolves at the moment, and the situation is obviously not good for them. If they are still hard, it is death. Wow, seeing that the prey disappeared out of thin air, the few spine-backed jackals ran forward to check, sniffed and looked at the west. In the end, they found nothing. They could only leave with unwillingness to find other prey. And in the psychic space, Su Mo Ching used a knife to cut off a hind leg from the giant deer hunted before, then pointed at the giant deer on the ground, and said to the little Godzilla, the rest is yours. Yeah, the little Godzilla, who was a little depressed because he didn't make a fight, immediately became excited after hearing Su Mo Ching's words, shaking his long tail to please, expressing his joy. 
Godzilla is the king of monsters, but he also needs to eat. Eating can speed up its growth. Psychic space is very safe. Su Mo Ching doesn't have to worry about being attacked or attracting any monsters, so he can use a lighter to make a barbecue. Little Godzilla began to eat the carcass of the giant deer. The little Godzilla eats very fast. Before Su Mo Ching's meat is cooked, the four to five hundred caddies of giant deer will be eaten by the little Godzilla. Only a few bloody intestines remained on the ground, and the rest of the internal organs, including the antlers and bones, were chewed and eaten by Godzilla. After about half an hour, Su Mo Ching roasted the meat without seasoning, and then ate it with big mouthfuls. Because there is no seasoning, the barbecue has some fishy smell and the taste is not very good, but the hungry Su Mo Ching can't take care of that much. Because of the monster physique, Su Mo Ching's digestive abilities are extremely strong, and the barbecue has just entered his stomach, it is quickly decomposed and absorbed. Su Mo Ching could clearly feel that the food was absorbed by the stomach, and then transformed into a weak warm current to strengthen her body. Unknowingly, Su Mo Ching had eaten dozens of caddies of roasted venison, still a little bit unfulfilled. Yeah, little Godzilla shook his tail and looked down at Su Mo Ching. To be precise, it was the thigh bone left in Su Mo Ching's hand, looking cute and flattering. Su Mo Ching looked up at the little Godzilla for a moment, and found the little Godzilla who was about the same height as him. He was already a head tall, his height was close to 2 meters, and his Siamese body was a lap bigger. Passing the leg bones to Godzilla, Su Mo Ching said, the system lists the attributes of Godzilla. Psychic Beast, Godzilla, Category, Universe Monster, Status, Juvenile, Potential, Level Universe, Strength, 9, Speed, 6, Stamina, 10, Spirit, 5, Energy, 10, Current Level, Normal, Ability, Monster Physique, Other Abilities are not activated. Looking at the attribute list listed by the system, Su Mo Ching couldn't help but utterly aid a giant deer, and Godzilla's overall strength increased significantly. This is the other potential of level universe, terrifying. Then Su Mo Ching called up his personal interface and took a look. Host. Su Mo Ching. Strength. 6. Agility. 5. Stamina. 7. Spirit. 4. Energy. 7. Current psychic points. 214. Psychic creature. Godzilla. Ability. Monster physique. They also have monster physique but because of the different energy intake, the attributes of Su Mo Ching and Godzilla are instantly pulled away. It can be seen that eating good still has considerable advantages. It seems that I will eat more in the future. Su Mo Ching said thoughtfully. At the same time consider the task of conquering Skull Island. In a year's time, whether it is long or short, Su Mo Ching still doesn't know how far he and Godzilla can evolve. But he knew that if he wanted to dominate Skull Island, he had to deal with the two overlords of King Kong and Skeleton Lizard. It's definitely not necessary to kill them, as explained in Psychic System. There are four ways to subdue psychic beasts. The first is to get rewards by completing system tasks. Second, redeem through points. Third, inhuman creatures voluntarily sign contracts and become psychic beasts. Fourth, after non-human creatures lose consciousness, they can force a contract to be signed. The level of exchange for psychic beasts is different, and the price is also different. Ordinary level psychic beasts require psychic points ranging from 10 to 99. Elite level psychic beasts need to range from 100 to 999. By analogy, the stronger the psychic beast, the higher the psychic points it needs. At present, Su Mo Ching also has more than 200 psychic points, which can be exchanged for at most one elite level psychic beast, and it is also the one with lower strength in the elite level. This is obviously unnecessary, wait, it seems necessary. Su Mo Ching flashed an aura and said, the system, mobilize me a flight psychic beast that can be exchanged for 200 psychic points. Concentration, please wait. After the system prompt sounded for a moment, hundreds of different flightable psychic beasts appeared in Su Mo Ching's eyes. After screening, Su Mo Ching selected a rather mysterious Kostin as a psychic beast. Psychic beast. Kostin. Category. Poultry. Status. Mature. Potential. Elite. Strength. 8. Speed. 50. Stamina. 15. Spirit. 7. Current level. Elite. Ability. Speed flight. Flutter. Eagle eye. 
There are 300 feather worms and 60, and Shenzhen is the most popular among them. Kostan is the highest totem of the Manchu, and the Manchu language, Shankulu, means the world's tallest and fastest bird, meaning, the god of 10,000 eagles. According to legend, only one Si Dongcheng came out of 100,000 condors. And Kostan, who came out of Su Moqing's psychic, is even more incredible. Its size is huge, and it is comparable to the giant eagle in, The Lord of the Rings. The statues in, The Legend of Condor Heroes, are all younger brothers in front of him. It can be used as a flight mount. Su Moqing nodded in satisfaction, and then considered what ability he should extract from Kostan. On Kostan's attribute interface, there are three kinds of abilities, speed flight, pounce, and eagle eye. Flop first to rule out, this ability doesn't have much effect. Then there is speed flight, this ability is very good, but after asking the system, Su Moqing learned that he wants to integrate the ability of speed flight and his body will grow a pair of wings. Su Moqing didn't want to be a birdman. So I chose eagle eye. Does the host extract the eagle's eye? Extract. Su Moqing's words fell, and a ray of light burst out from Hai Dongqing, covering Su Moqing. This time the light quickly disappeared. Su Moqing felt that his eyes were like eightfold mirrors, he could see far away things clearly, his field of vision became very broad, and he could adjust his near and far vision. After getting used to the new ability, Su Moqing lay down on Kostan's back, ready to practice riding the flight mount in the psychic space. Yeah, the little Godzilla yelled and seemed to want to come up too, but Su Moqing looked at the size of the little Godzilla and did not agree. How much do you weigh yourself, do you have no point to force it? Kostin, take off. Su Moqing grabbed the tough feathers behind Kostin and patted it on the back. Tweet, Hai Dongqing let out a loud eagle, spread his wings, and leapt up. Kostin's speed is very fast, soaring in the vast psychic space. Su Moqing put his body on Kostin's back, grasped its feathers tightly with both hands, and experienced the feeling of rapid heartbeat. Fortunately, Su Moqing's physique is also far superior to ordinary people, and he did not, fall the eagle, because of Kostin's fast flying air current. After gradually adapting, Su Moqing's heart moved, and he took Kostin out of the psychic space. Ha! Huh. With blue sky and white clouds, green mountains and green waters, Su Moqing rides on Hai Dongqing's back, overlooking Skull Island below. Skull Island is very large, with rolling mountains and winding waterways. Through the eyesight of Eagle's Eye, you can see many animals. Some are just ordinary beasts, but there are also some strange creatures. For example, huge amounts of spiders, lonely reef cow monsters that look like small islands, and even saw a lot of dinosaurs. That's King Kong, stay away from there. Su Moqing saw King Kong more than 20 meters away, fighting a Tyrannosaurus more than 10 meters high. Two huge amounts of figures, you come and I go, but Tyrannosaurus Rex is obviously not King Kong's opponent, and was quickly beaten to head by King Kong. Su Moqing quickly kept Kostin away, he didn't want to provoke King Kong. At the direction of Su Moqing, Kostin flew towards the edge of Skull Island. After flying for more than 10 minutes, Su Moqing saw a thick storm layer from a distance, in which thunder and lightning flashed, mixed with some radiation materials which looked very dangerous. The storm layer is the natural barrier of Skull Island and can block signals. It is precisely because of the existence of the storm layer that it is difficult for outsiders to find and approach Skull Island. At the moment Su Moqing even wanted Kostin to pass through the storm layer, but after another thought, he gave up this idea. He is eager to enter human society, but he is not ready yet. The most important thing at the moment is to find a way to make yourself stronger. Dominating Skull Island is Su Moqing's first goal. If he can't even accomplish this goal, then how can he go out to compete with those super criminals, superhero? After calming down, Su Moqing drove Kostin to circle the Skull Island and roughly recorded the topography of Skull Island, and then began the hunting plan. A few days later, ding, congratulations to the host for killing the Daggerspine Jackal and rewarding 39 psychic points. Ding, congratulations to the host for killing the Daggerspine Jackal and reward 46 psychic points. Ding, congratulations to the host for killing the Daggerspine Jackal and rewarding 43 psychic points. In a jungle, Su Moqing and Godzilla, who had grown to more than 5 meters tall, stood in the forest. A dozen corpses of spine-backed jackals were lying around. 
For these sword spine jackals, Su Mo Ching had no appetite and let Godzilla eat. Godzilla is not as picky as Su Mo Ching, so he just started eating. Tweet. A loud eagle sounded from the sky. After Su Mo Ching heard Costin's prompt, he immediately asked Godzilla to move the corpse of the spineback jackal into the psychic space and then returned with Costin in the sky psychic space. After a while, a three-headed skull lizard with a hideous face and a body length of more than 10 meters appeared in the place where Su Mo Ching had disappeared. The three-headed skeletal monitor lizard turned around, finding nothing except the blood stains on the ground, and then stepped away. In the psychic space, Su Mo Ching checked his personal interface. Host. Su Mo Ching. Current psychic points. 2650. Level. Early elite. Psychic creatures. Godzilla, Costin. Ability. Monster physique, Eagle Eye. These days, Su Mo Ching and Godzilla have greatly improved their physical fitness through hunting and eating, as well as absorbing the energy scattered in the air. Has now broken through to the elite level. Taking a look at Godzilla who quickly gnawed at the spine spine jackal, Su Mo Ching called up its attribute list. Psychic Beast. Godzilla. Category. Universe Monster. Status. Juvenile. Potential. Level Universe. Current Level. Mid Elite. Ability. Monster Physique. Other abilities are not activated. By comparison, the gap between Su Mo Ching and Godzilla has widened. This is because Godzilla occupies a physical advantage and is not picky eaters, so he evolves faster. As for Kostin, its attributes have not changed. After a busy morning, Su Mo Ching was also hungry and started to make a barbecue. He is a particular person, unlike Godzilla and Kostin who eat raw meat, what he roasts is the antelope hunted before. The antelope is about 200 caddies. Su Mo Ching held it easily in one hand. After peeling and removing the internal organs skillfully, he wore it with a wooden stick with a thick arm, and put it on a rack and turned it over and roasted it. After a while, the meat was scented. After eating the barbecue, Su Mo Ching was thinking about where to go hunting in the afternoon, but a system reminder sounded in his mind. System Mission. Rescue Iron Blood. Narration. In the distant universe, the traditional predator Johnson was defeated by the new dark predator, and his life was hanging by a thread. The time limit is one week. Completion rewards. 500 psychic points, Predator Johnson's allegiance, no penalty for failure, does the host receive it? Looking at the latest system tasks, Su Mo Ching had some hesitation. Through the system description, Su Mo Ching can roughly determine that this mission is the plot of, New Predator. He has watched this movie. Although it has a lot of complaints, it is still a good movie. The content of the story is mainly that the mercenary Royce, the protagonist, was thrown into the star ball under unknown circumstances. Soon after he arrived, one after another, people fell from the sky. Royce found six soldiers and a surgeon to report to the group to survive. Although they doubted each other, they had to flee together. In the process, they were constantly attacked by unknowns. After fierce battles for survival, they discovered that they were prey on this alien planet. They were brutally hunted by wind and invincible predators. This predator belongs to a new generation, with a larger body and a more advanced preparation. It can hunt and sniff out the prey position at night. Everyone has nowhere to hide in this big hunting ground. The, human weapon, killer group who originally carried the, one move to kill, stunts on the earth will have to fight in the sinister alien jungle with invisible ability and move faster, equipped with a more powerful shoulder ion cannon and an evolutionary version of the ultimate flying falcon. The new variant of Predator, a bloody survival game of hunting and being hunted begins. And the Predator Johnson in the mission should be the old school iron blood tied up in the movie. If you want to save Johnson, you will definitely meet the Shengshichuling trio. Bah, it's the new jagged trio. However, a predator being a psychic beast, looks very attractive. Regardless of the combat effectiveness of the predator, what Su Mo Ching values most is the high technology controlled by the iron and blood. Su Mo Ching was really moved by the daring and starved to death, and then asked, System, if I receive the mission, will I pass through the world of, new predator? After completing the mission, how can I come back? After the host receives the task, the system will transfer the host across dimensions. In addition, the psychic space can record the space coordinates, ignoring the distance and dimension for psychic summons. Currently, the coordinates of Skull Island have been recorded.
After the host completes the task, it can teleport by itself. Psychic space, it can be teleported across dimensions, isn't it possible to travel to and from different worlds at will? Su Moqing was very excited when he heard the system mechanization prompt, and immediately said, receive the task. As soon as the voice fell, I saw a black vortex in front of him out of thin air and psychic space. The black vortex slowly revolved and expanded on the ground, and stopped at the level of 3 meters. Seeing the bottomless black vortex in front of him, Su Moqing took a deep breath and jumped in without saying a word. When Su Moqing jumped into the vortex, the vortex slowly shrank, and finally disappeared from the psychic space. Jagged Hunting Ground A few meters above the pool in the forest, a black vortex suddenly formed, and a figure fell from it. With a plop, water splashed everywhere. Bah! Su Moqing crawled out of the pool damp and walked to the shore, observing the surrounding environment. The tall trees are overgrown with weeds. It is obviously a virgin forest. As far as the environment is concerned, it is not much different from Skull Island, but the temperature is much higher, about 30 degrees. What? Suddenly there was a scream of horror from the sky, Su Moqing looked up, only to see a person falling from the sky. Through Eagle Eye's strengthening's vision, Su Moqing can clearly see the panicked facial expression of this person. This is a standard Westerner who looks 20 pairs of years old. He fell through the buffer of the branches, and then the parachute behind was hung by the branches, and the whole person fell into the air. Help, who will help me? Edwin, who was hung in the air, turned twice in midair, and Roar called for help. Edwin speaks English, but Su Moqing, who has not had a second level English level, understands the meaning of his words. Su Moqing recognized this person as the abnormal doctor in New Predator and asked tentatively in Chinese, Hey, do you know where this is? What Su Moqing said was really standard English in Edwin's ears. Turning to look at Su Moqing below, Edwin quickly said, The ghost knows where this is. Can you let me down first? Su Moqing heard the words, thoughtfully, and calmly looked around, faintly feeling that something was watching him. At this moment, a faint sound of footsteps came over, and Su Moqing immediately roused himself. Su Moqing didn't care about Edwin's screams, and quickly climbed to an unknown tree next to him like a monkey, and used Eagle's Eye to observe the surroundings. After activating the Eagle Eye ability, Su Moqing's vision became extremely broad, and soon he found several heavily armed men approaching. There were five men and one woman in the group, all dressed in different weapons, and Su Moqing recognized these people as the characters in the plot. The six are Mercenary Royce, Investigator Isabel, Anti-Terrorist Member Nicola, Black Mombasa, Drug Lord and Wanted Criminal Stan. Several people walked through the grass and came under Edwin. The Black Mombasa suddenly turned around, pointed his gun at the position where Su Moqing was, and said, Who? Come out quickly, or I will shoot. Seeing Mombasa found himself so quickly, Su Moqing had to admire the alertness of this guy. Now there are two options before Su Moqing. First, connect with these people, and then find a chance to rescue the Predator Johnson. The second is to leave directly and do it alone. Don't be nervous, everyone, I'm just a lost lamb, and I came here in a daze. Does any of you know what this place is? Su Moqing stood on the tree fork and raised his empty hands to indicate that he was harmless. Su Moqing definitely knew that this was a hunting ground for predators, but in order not to arouse suspicion, he still pretended to be puzzled. Edwin yelled, can you put me down first? When Royce heard the words, a sharp shot broke the parachute rope on Edwin's body. Plop, Edwin fell into the puddle below. At this time, Su Moqing also climbed down from the tree under Isabel's gaze. Although seeing that Su Moqing had no weapons, Isabel and the others did not relax because of this and asked, how did you get here? I don't know, I was on my way home. I didn't expect to be in midair as soon as I woke up. If I didn't open the parachute smoothly, I'm afraid I would have fallen into a meatloaf. If I knew which fool pushed me off the plane, I must interrupt his limbs. Su Moqing expressed resentment as he spoke. These words are definitely nonsense by Su Moqing, in order to cater to people like Royce. Royce and others all appeared here inexplicably. Wary of everyone, Su Moqing fabricated the same experience as them, so it is easier for them to have a sense of identity. Everyone briefly introduced their identities. 
The little glasses said that he was a doctor, and Su Moqing said that he had been fooled by his original job. Although Royce and others were wary, in this unfamiliar environment, facing unknown risks, they all knew that relying on their personal strength was very dangerous, so they did not exclude Su Moqing and Edwin from joining. After a while, the group met Hanzo, the killer of the Yamaguchi group in Japan. The staff is now complete. What the hell is this? Su Moqing and nine people stood under a piece of strange metal. This piece of metal is more than 10 meters long, with many totems of unknown meaning carved on it, and many different kinds of animal bones are placed under the metal. Isabel looked at the bones in a place and frowned, who would do this kind of thing? No matter who it is, they will take the spoils. In our nation, the fighters with the most spoils are the most respected, said the Black Mombasa. Su Moqing knew that this was done by the Predator, but he wouldn't say it stupidly, he knew that he had seen the movie. The Predator's equipment can receive sounds from far away, and he may be secretly observing nearby now. If he speaks out, not only will these people doubt him, it is very likely that the Predator will be able to do it in advance. Dressed in a prison uniform, he curled his lips to Stan and said, Follow him, I just want to get out of here alive. Anti-terrorist member Nicholas thoughtfully, this is an experiment. The other party may want to see our reaction under pressure. If this is an experiment, then why did you choose us? We don't know each other, and we have live ammunition. This is definitely not an experiment. Isabel vetoed, while observing the surroundings, ready to face danger at any time. The gangster said, maybe it's kidnapping. Where we are, we took the hostage and threw it into the oil barrel. If we don't pay the ransom, we will burn him to death. This is a ruthless person. Stan shook his head and guessed. I've heard those experimental stories, they are all deceptive, they put medicine in your food and then observe the result next to. We are not drugged. If we take psychotropic drugs, we will be affected by residual drugs, such as loss of mobility, blurred vision, and if this is a behavioral test, then, maybe have other purposes. Dr. Ed Wen's specialty is medicine, so if you analyze it, Stan's guess is rejected. Su Moqing said, no matter what the other party's purpose is, the most important question for us now is, how do we get out? This is a good question, Royce said, walking towards the hillside. Seeing Royce alone, Isabel frowned and said, where are you going? Commanding heights, Royce said as he walked. Seeing Royce alone, Isabel emphasized, we should work as a team. Royce stopped, turned around and said, then you should follow me. Keep up. Although Royce is a bit shit, he does have some skills. After all, he is the male lead. Su Moqing has no intention of revealing his ability for the time being. It is a good choice to follow the protagonist to paddle. The others looked at each other and followed. The group began to move forward on foot. On the way, Su Moqing watched the Dr. Edwin use his knowledge to rescue Nikolai once and completed the poisoning process, and he became vigilant in his heart. In the original plot, Edwin stabbed the heroine Isabel with a poison scalpel, making Isabel paralyzed. Su Moqing knows the plot, definitely will not be fooled by Edwin Sven's appearance, if necessary, he doesn't mind looking for a chance to kill this pervert. After walking for about an hour, the hot weather made people sweat, coupled with the high level of tension, Royce and others looked a little tired. Isabel looked at Su Moqing, who was strolling in the courtyard, and wondered, aren't you tired? I have practiced martial arts, and my physical strength is better than ordinary people. Su Moqing said nonsense seriously, and at the same time admired the observation power of these people. Chinese Kung Fu. Isabel was dubious, but didn't ask too much. Everyone had a secret. Mountain roads are difficult to navigate and thorns are densely covered. Royce is holding a Nepalese saber to clear the way, and Su Moqing, Edwin and Stan, who are unarmed, walk in the middle. Among the nine people, Nicola is the most tired. Whoever lets his weapon be a Gem 134 with a green machine gun, gun body with bullets, and a backpack on his body, he weighs more than 100 kilograms, that is, a fighting nation. If he is an ordinary person, he can't bear it. When they walked up the mountainside, except for Su Moqing, everyone was out of breath and lacked physical strength, so they took a rest on the wide rock platform in front. The site is empty here, and you can observe the surrounding movement to avoid being attacked by beast. Nikolai, Hanzo, and others are either soldiers or assassins. They are all very vigilant. Even if they are resting, they are watching the surroundings. 
Edwin and Stan lie directly on the rock to rest. Isabel took out the compass, but found that the pointer had been spinning, and apparently it had failed. Su Moching stepped forward and said, I think we are in big trouble. What did you find? Isabel asked. Royce also leaned over, and Su Moching looked at the sun in the sky. I found that the sun in the sky hasn't moved much since I came here, or it has moved very slowly. Isabel, what does this mean? It is very likely that we are no longer on the earth. Su Moching gave proper guidance while strengthening his right to speak in the team. In any case, they are still in the same boat now. It is not so easy to deal with the predators, with the help of these people, Su Moching will also be much easier. When Isabel heard this, she seemed to have thought of something. You mean that we were kidnapped by aliens? As a member of the FBI, Isabel knows some secrets that ordinary people don't know. The existence of aliens is not a secret to them, and even some information about aliens is stored in the FBI. It's not impossible, maybe we were selected. Su Moching pretended to sigh. Selected, Royce gave Su Moching a meaningful look, and the other party's guess coincided with his. However, I was secretly wary of the fact that Royce knew the identities of the others in this temporary team at a glance. Only Edwin and Su Moching seemed out of place and couldn't understand the true details. Su Moching only guided one side, and did not confess to these people. After everyone rested for more than ten minutes, they continued to set off overcome all obstacles, and soon saw an iron cage in front of him. The iron cage is about 1.6 meters high, 2 meters wide, and 3 meters long. It is covered with a parachute cloth and emits a stench. I don't know what's inside. When everyone saw this, they suddenly became vigilant. Royce made a gesture, Hanzo, Isabel and others slowly surrounded the iron cage with guns. Hanzo took the pistol and walked to the iron cage, and carefully opened the parachute cloth, but the inside was empty, with only some weird cockroaches and an unknown yellow-white cortex which looked very disgusting. Isabel resisted the disgusting smell and stepped forward and observed, something has been thrown down, just like us. Su Moching looked at the rotten skin, shook his head and said, we are different. You said before that we were the chosen ones. What did we choose to do? Isabel asked Su Moching. I don't know yet, but it's definitely not a good thing. Su Moching said, pointing to it. Royce and the others looked up, and saw several iron cages also hung among the surrounding trees. Zayat, Fax Squid, Stan and Edwin yelled at them, and everyone's emotions became more tense when they saw this situation. Although it is still unclear what was originally in the iron cage, everyone felt that this was not a place to stay for long. If we were really caught by aliens, how should we leave this ghost place? In order to maintain physical strength, everyone seldom spoke, thinking about things in their hearts, and seemed silent, but after walking for a while, the wanted criminal Stan couldn't help but complain. Su Moching glanced at him. The wanted criminal Stan had killed many people, but despite the crimes he committed, in the original plot, he was still a man who dared to kill the predator with a knife, and his courage was commendable. Although he died miserably in the end. Hearing Stan's complaint, Su Moching said, I don't know, but since we can get us here, there must be a way to go back, maybe with an alien spacecraft or something. The Black Mombasa murmured, Come on, even if an alien spacecraft is placed in front of us, will any of us drive it? By now, everyone is clearly aware that they are already in an alien planet, which is obviously not what human technology can do today. So they all regard aliens as imaginary enemies. There must be a way for the car to reach the mountain, and there will always be a way. Su Moching is not very worried. He has psychic space. Even if he can't complete the mission, he can return to the Marvel world by himself as long as he finds a way to survive for seven days. Royce sighed deeply and waved a somewhat sour arm. Su is right, we won't drive, but those aliens who caught us will definitely do, and since they have chosen us, they will come sooner or later. Yes, as long as we find the opportunity to contact, we will have the opportunity to grab their spacecraft and force them to take me back to Earth. Saying so, but Royce has no bottom in his heart. If the other party can arrest them without knowing it, it means that the other party has the ability to easily kill them. Others are not stupid, they also know the difficulty, but they have only this way to go. Crack, the Black Mombasa suddenly mentioned that the root of the tree fell, and Stan smiled, man, be careful. 
Su Moqing noticed that there were many ropes around, remembered something, and shouted, Be careful, there are traps. As soon as the words fell, it was like a chain reaction. The organs in the surrounding forests were activated, and a tree trunk bound by the rope flew and slammed into it, driven by the rope. Su Moqing pushed Isabel and Stan down next to him, and drew to the side to avoid the impact of the tree trunk. At this time, the mechanism was triggered one after another, and the sharp wooden stakes flew down like a crossbow. The speed of these stakes was not very fast in Su Moqing's eyes. His strength, speed, and reaction nerves were far beyond ordinary people, and he could easily dodge them. Others are also very agile, and under the threat of death, they have exploded with an astonishing desire to survive. Even the abnormal Dr. Edwin, who is a normal person, evaded the organ without any risk. However, Isabel was not very lucky, and was driven by the stab mechanism on the ground, and fell into a trap full of sharp wooden stakes. Help, help, Isabel grabbed the mud on the edge of the pit and wanted to climb up, but the mud was slippery. It was difficult for her to take advantage of her strength. She could only grab the edge and climb desperately while shouting roar to rescue. Su Moqing rushed forward at a speed of 8 seconds and 100 meters, grabbed Isabel's arm, and lifted it out with one hand. Thanks. Isabel was surprised at Su Moqing's strength, but did not say anything. While thanking him, she took the sniper rifle and quickly observed the surrounding movement to prevent being attacked. Su Moqing patted Isabel on the shoulder. Relax, I don't think it's necessary. Speaking and pointing in the direction of 12 o'clock, Isabel looked along and found a corpse lying there. Some nervous people reunited and came to the dead body. Decedent was wearing a military uniform, and on his chest, there was a blood hole of file size in a sea bowl. It looked miserable. This wound was shot from the inside out. Others might not know it, but Su Moqing knew that it was a special shape. However, judging from the original plot, the alien should have been killed by the last batch of predators. Su Moqing clearly pretended to be painted, but did not show any strangeness. Nikolai looked at the dead body, somewhat mocking himself, we triggered Deadman's trap. Judging from the degree of corruption of the corpse, he was dead two weeks ago. Edwin showed his professional knowledge appropriately. Nikolai looked around and analyzed the situation with some unevenness, he occupies the most advantageous position. From here, he can shoot in all directions. He is preparing to fight back. Su Moqing bent down to ask, took out a notepad from the pocket of Decedent's shirt, and glanced back. I wiped it, I didn't understand it. It seems that the system just gave him the ability to communicate with other people. Isabel, because Su Moqing had rescued her before, had a good impression of her, and asked, what's the above? Su Moqing failed in English, and he knew a single letter, so he was stunned by the connection. Fortunately, he remembered most of the plot, and calmly said, this man is an American special force. He should have been stationed in Afghanistan. Then why did he set a trap to catch us? Stan asked. Royce glanced at the previous traps and said, These traps are not used to deal with us, the enemy he wants to deal with is bigger than us. Tall, Edwin was puzzled. Royce explained, The trunk is used to suppress the enemy. The first of these traps is the weight of the trunk, which should be five times the weight of the prey. Moreover, the height and density of the traps he sets are aimed at large-scale traps. Animals, otherwise we wouldn't be so easy to escape. Taking a deep breath, Royce continued, no matter what the prey was, it avoided these traps and killed him. Royce's analysis was very reasonable, but Su Moqing knew that it was not the prey that circumvented the trap and killed this person. It was the death of this person who was attacked by the worm before, swallowed the alien egg, and finally hatched and broke out of the body. But Gui knows that Su Moqing didn't intend to explain, and at the same time, through the eagle eye, he found the invisible predator on the tree with his light. The predator's invisibility device can change according to the surrounding environment, which is difficult for ordinary people to detect with the naked eye, but Su Moqing's eagle eye comes with an eightfold lens, which can see some subtle anomalies. Su Moqing only cast a glance, and did not face the invisible predator to avoid attracting the predator's attention. Let's go, Royce called Roar, and everyone continued to set off. Su Moqing was about to leave but saw the black Mombasa looking nervously at the position of the predator, and immediately stepped forward and said, Mombasa, what are you looking at? Nothing. Mombasa didn't see anything, 
just felt something watching him. That feeling, like a rabbit locked by a lion, made him panic. Su Mo Ching still admires the black man's dangerous premonition ability, but he has no plans to fight the predator right now. He patted Mombasa on the shoulder. Relax, if you break your nerves too tight, your body will be overwhelmed. Well, let's go. Mombasa felt that this place made him very uncomfortable, and immediately left with everyone. Wow, everyone was walking on the road and came to the small forest, when a dark shadow suddenly flew over the crowd. What is it? Everyone was already in a state of being a soldier, and the appearance of the black shadow made everyone nervous. Royce, drug lord, Nicholas and others raised their weapons and watched carefully. Only Su Mo Cheng could see that the black shadow was a falcon-like flight. In the original plot, this mechanical falcon is used by the predator to detect and monitor the equipment at high altitude. At the same time, Su Mo Ching also realized that they were about to usher in an attack by alien dogs. Roar, sure enough, but after a while, there was a strange roar in the distance, and Royce and others instantly pointed their guns in the direction of the strange noise. Roar la la, there was a strange sound in the grass ahead, and something seemed to be approaching quickly. Su Mo Ching took the pistol given to him by Isabel and stood on guard. Ha! Huh, suddenly, an ugly-looking monster ran out of the grass. It was as fast as a cheetah and looked like a wild boar, but with sharp claws on its limbs. There were many external bone spurs on its head and back, and its mouth was full of fangs. It was very vicious. Fire! Seeing the hideous alien dog running out of the grass, Royce and others immediately focused their firepower on shooting. Boom boom! The gunshots were continuous and bullets poured out. Although the alien dog looked terrifying, it was after all flesh and blood. After a few people shot it, it quickly turned into a pile of minced meat. But before everyone could breathe a sigh of relief, an alien dog ran out of the grass behind. Seven or eight alien dogs sprang out of the grass immediately. These alien dogs have a certain intelligence quotient. After seeing the power of the guns, they scattered and rushed towards the crowd from several directions. Alien dogs are huge, with thick skin and thick skin. Firearms want to kill them. Unless they hit the key, it is very difficult to kill them with one blow. Now that the alien dogs are scattered, it means that everyone must disperse the firepower, which is undoubtedly very dangerous. Because these alien dogs are very fast, it is difficult for ordinary firearms to shoot them in a short time. Once the alien dog is brought close, the size of the alien dog, the fangs and claws, and the sharp external bone spurs, just one collision, you can make a few blood holes in a person. Edwin and Stan took the lead to escape. Both of them, Stan had a knife, and it was useless to stay, so everyone didn't say anything, and each aimed at its own target and shot. Su Mo Ching did not shoot at all in the first wave, and only shot with a pistol at at the moment. He had the help of Eagle Eye. These alien dogs were like targets that were placed close, except that the first two shots were missed. In the next four shots, he accurately hit the alien dog in the eye. Ding, congratulations to the host for killing the alien dog and reward 11 psychic points. Ding, congratulations to the host for killing the alien dog and reward 10 psychic points. The pistol in Su Mo Ching's hand is the MK-22. There are only eight rounds of ammunition in a magazine. Six shots were fired, and two were left. But the two alien dogs on his side have been resolved. Boom. Without even thinking about it, Su Mo Ching, who mastered shooting skills, raised his hand with two more shots, accurately hitting the left and right eyes of the other two alien dogs. The bullet penetrated through the fragile eyes and killed another alien dog in an instant. Ding. Congratulations to the host for killing the alien dog and rewards 10 psychic points. The other one had a bigger life. Although the eyes were blown out, the bullet stuck on the bone and did not die immediately. It just fell to the ground with howling in pain and rolling on the ground. Nicholas took the opportunity to sieve it with the green machine gun. Seeing Nicholas, robbing the blame, Su Mo Ching didn't say anything, the other party just protected himself, there was no need to care too much. Nicholas admired Su Mo Ching. Brother, the marksmanship is really amazing. Nicholas really praised him. If Su Mo Ching hadn't shot in time, he would kill at most one alien dog, and he would be thrown down by the other one. The consequences would be disastrous. Do you have a pistol? I have no bullets, Su Mo Ching asked directly without being polite. Give. 
Seeing Su Mo Ching's superb marksmanship, plus having just saved his life, Nicholas gave Su Mo Ching the pistol he carried with him after a little thought. At this critical juncture, the pistol is more useful to Su Mo Ching. On the other side, the Dr. Edwin was chased by an alien dog, and he was about to be overtaken. Isabel shot and killed the alien dog, saving Edwin's life. Su Mo Ching noticed this scene and secretly said it was a pity. Edwin is a complete pervert and villain. It can be said that he is an unfamiliar wolf. No matter how good you are to him, he will not be soft when he stabs a knife. In this case, most people think about reporting to the group, and their guns are consistent with the outside world. But in the original plot, Edwin thought about how to cheat his teammates, and I don't know what his mind thinks. Killed his teammate, can he deal with the predator alone? It can only be said that abnormal thinking is difficult for ordinary people to understand. Bang bang bang, Su Mo Ching fired one after another, eagle's eye with free-looking eyesight. He had hundreds of shots, and every bullet would definitely hit an alien dog's eye. The system prompts one after another, killing six alien dogs in a blink of an eye, and assisting others to kill five. However, in the bushes, there are constantly alien dogs rushing out, and in a panic, everyone has been scattered to see. The soft-hearted Isabel ran to rescue Edwin, but when Edwin climbed up the tree, she was thrown down by an alien dog. Do not want, Edwin yelled no from the tree, but didn't mean to go and help at all. The eyes behind the glasses even flashed with abnormal excitement. Isabel could not help feeling desperate as she watched the alien dog open its blood basin and rushed towards it. At the moment, Su Mo Ching rushed over, kicked the alien dog away, then raised his hand and shot it with two, bangs, shots. Ding, congratulations to the host for killing the alien dog and rewarding 12 psychic points. Well enough, Su Mo Ching stretched out his hand and pulled Isabel up from the ground. At this time, there was a whistle. After hearing the whistle, the remaining alien dogs began to retreat, and disappeared into the grass after a while. Everyone reunited, Roy squatted down to reload, and said, everyone immediately counts the ammunition and replaces the magazine. Nicholas, Mombasa, Isabel and others all understood the current situation and changed their magazines. Su Mo Ching also checked the pistol, and there were two bullets left. Edwin, who has no weapon, said, sorry, I want to ask, what are we? We are being hunted. The previous cages, soldiers, and us were all sent here for some reason. Royce installed the magazine, took a breath, and then said, This planet is a large hunting ground, and we are the prey. They let the dogs come here just to drive us away, just like we hunt wild boars and wild deer. They let the dogs disperse us, then watch us secretly and test our ability. Quote. Isabel looked at the dead alien dog not far away, and then asked Royce, How did you know? Because, it's me, I will do that, Royce said and got up, ready to leave. Su Mo Ching said, we have one person missing. Hanzo, Nicholas and others heard the words and looked at each other, only to find that the gangster drug lord was not among them. Help, help, just as everyone was guessing, the drug lord's cry for help rang. The group of people rushed over and found the drug lord with his back to the crowd, kneeling in the grass. Help, hearing the drug lord's rescue by roar, Isabel couldn't help but want to come forward to rescue him, but was pulled by Su Mo Ching, wait, this may be a trap. With that said, Su Mo Ching picked up a stone from the ground and threw it into the grass. Choke, seeing that the stone hadn't fallen to the ground, two metal blades suddenly ejected from the grass, breaking the stone in an instant. If you change to be a human, I'm afraid the lower body will be directly cut off. The black Mombasa thought of something and said to himself, first let a person be injured, then tortured him, let him call for help, and then set up traps to catch all the rescuers. I have used this trick before. Obviously, the people who caught them know their methods well. This is not good news. Stan glanced at the drug lord. Let's go, this guy is dead, we can't save it. Let's go. Royce weighed the pros and cons and was not prepared to take risks. I, bang, Isabel wanted to say something else. Su Mo Ching raised his hand with a pistol and exploded the drug lord's head with one shot. This is the first time that Su Mo Ching shot and killed someone. No, maybe not, because he didn't hear the system prompt, which means that the drug lord is dead long ago. Isabel said slightly angrily, What are you doing? I just ended his pain. 
Su Moqing found that the drug lord had died a long time ago, but he didn't explain it, just made up a reason. Then she stepped away. Isabel looked at the headshot of the drug lord, but heard the voice of the drug lord remembering again. Help. Chapter 11. Trekking in the jungle is very boring. Under Royce's suggestion, everyone followed the footprints of the alien dog, ready to take the initiative to figure out the details of the opponent. Otherwise, they have been passive, and they won't be able to hold on for long. Su Moqing knew that Royce was planning to use other people as bait, but he did the same. Although his family knows his own affairs, his physical fitness is far superior to ordinary people, but when it comes to combat awareness and experience, compared to these fighters and killers, he is inferior. Being with these people can ensure his own safety. Their goals are different, but they are not in conflict, and their interests are the same. These people want to ask for a life, and Su Moqing is to complete the task and get rewards. It is inevitable to meet those new generations of dark predator. Definitely, these things are unknown to others. Along the way, everything I saw was vegetation, mountains and rocks. The long journey, coupled with a high level of alertness, made everyone exhausted both physically and psychologically. Fortunately, these people are not good people, they have a strong heart. Otherwise, if you change to an ordinary person, you will collapse long ago if your willpower is not enough. Royce is indeed an experienced mercenary. Through the cobweb horse trails left by the alien dog, he successfully found the iron blood camp in the plot. The temperature in this camp is relatively high, about 35 degrees Celsius, and there are many dead trees with burn marks around them. There are many strange creatures that have been peeled upside down on these trees, including a few humans. There are many strange shaped skulls on the ground. A savage, bloody, and weird scene was shown to everyone. The air was full of blood and the pungent smell of sulfur. Some slabs contained defective and incomplete corpses. Even the trained Isabel saw him and almost vomited. Su Moqing had killed a lot of monsters on Skull Island, and he had already practiced his courage. He knew that this was the camp of the predators. The three dark old irons, the lion face, elephant face, and eagle face, could appear at any time. With his current defensive power, he should be able to withstand small caliber pistols, but he is still very fragile in front of the predator's shoulder cannon. Moreover, the predator's cold weapons are all super alloys, which are extremely sharp. If they are accidentally stabbed, it may be a tragedy. But at the same time, he was a little excited, because he knew that he would soon be able to see the goal he wanted to rescue. Everyone sullen their faces and walked cautiously to the center of the camp. On the way, Su Moqing also saw two adult alien bodies that were being burned, and the others were already shocked by the surrounding environment. In their opinion, this is simply hell. After walking for a while, Su Moqing finally saw his gold traditional iron and blood. The predator was tied to a thick bucket of tree trunk. It had a humanoid animal face, strong muscles, all limbs with claws, beige skin, steel needle-like burrs, and a huge head drooping and thick. His hair is loose, and his height is about 2.5 meters. Sheet, what the hell is this? Stan and the others were all taken aback by the predator. Isabel seemed to recognize the identity of the predator and seemed very disturbed. Su Moqing stepped forward, and the predator seemed to have some peculiar induction, raised his head, revealing a terrible face, opened his mouth like an insect mouthpart, and let out a beast-like roar. Roar, wow, bad breath, how long have you not brushed your teeth? Su Moqing took a step back, and from the corner of his eyes, he found that Royce secretly hid aside while everyone was attracted by the predators. Su Moqing sensed a certain connection with the predator Cheng Sen, battle damage, in front of him. Although weak, he was sure that the opponent would not harm him. Thinking about whether to let it go now. After all, there is a predator as a psychic beast, which means that he can indirectly obtain the technology of the predator clan. And Isabel next to him once read the information about the predator. Now after seeing Jagged Johnson, he immediately knew that he and the others were in a very dangerous situation. He clenched the sniper rifle, and Gao Roar said, Get out of here, we shouldn't be here, uh. At the same time, the three dark iron blood, who took pleasure in fighting, had quietly arrived. Their real names are unknown, and can only be judged by masks. They are, Lion Face, Elephant Face, Eagle Face, similar to the iron-blooded version of the three brothers of Shichuling. 
The three Dark Iron and Blood are fully armed and in an optical stealth state, lightly approaching the prey in their eyes, and the eyes behind the mask are full of tyrannical excitement. It's just that these three old irons, what they don't know is that Su Mo Ching has already discovered them. The Predator's invisible devices can indeed hide from ordinary people's eyes, but they are not without flaws. Their location can be judged by infrared rays, thermal imaging cameras, or smell and hearing. Su Mo Ching has the advantage of foresight, coupled with the careful observation of Eagle Eye, it is not difficult to find them. At the moment Stan found that Royce was missing, and wondered, where did Royce go? The upright Nikolai said, maybe he has gone by himself. Su Mo Ching noticed that the three iron blood had gradually come to the rear. Three meters behind the black Mombasa, he could only see the outline, but it was enough, and said casually, Mombasa. What? Mombasa was a little puzzled, and at the same time felt inexplicably uneasy. Get down, Su Mo Ching suddenly yelled, then suddenly raised the pistol and pulled the trigger at Mombasa's left shoulder. Bang! Before the gunshots sounded, Mombasa had already reacted, lying on the right side, which was also a kind of tacit understanding between comrades in arms. When Mombasa was lying down, a transparent spear was pierced from where he was before, and a blood stain was drawn on the left shoulder of Mombasa's shoulder. And the bullet shot by Su Mo Ching rubbed the edge of the transparent spear and hit the unprotected abdomen of the iron-blooded eagle, bringing up a fluorescent blood flower. Roar! The eagle face can't help but hurt roar, the power of the pistol is limited, and it did not cause fatal damage. Boom boom! At this time, the others hadn't reacted yet, Royce, who had been ambushing beforehand, rushed out, and he took the AH-12 automatic shotgun and fired frantically at the position of the three dark old irons, directly stunned the three old irons. Because the wounds of the eagle face are easy to be found, Royce takes care of it. The AH-12 shotgun is very powerful, even for the predator, it is also very lethal. Roar, eagle face was shot by Su Mo Ching first, and then shot by Royce three times. Although he did not die immediately, he also lost the combat ability, retired from the invisibility state, lay on the ground and twitched, apparently losing his combat effectiveness. The lion face and elephant face hurriedly evaded, they covered more armor, but they didn't suffer any harm. Su Mo Ching took advantage of Royce's shot, picked up the spear that fell from the eagle's face, and directly stabbed it in the neck. Ding, congratulations to the host for killing the dark predator and rewarding 112 psychic points. Fire and kill these fool. Nicholas, Mombasa and others reacted, and through the splashing smoke, they roughly saw the silhouette of the lion and elephant invisible, and they shot wildly. Boom boom boom. The bullet roar screamed, the lion face and elephant face ran and dodged, their armor has a strong defense, but there are some places that are not covered by the armor, if they are hit, it will still cause them damage. In fact, with the technology of the predator, it is not difficult to build an outer bone armor that covers the whole body. But whether it is traditional iron blood or dark iron blood, they all like hunting, not slaughtering. If it is really fully armored, human beings are lambs to be slaughtered for them, and there is no challenge at all. This can be regarded as a kind of death. After the lion face and elephant face ran for a while, they then began to counterattack. The power of this energy bomb can be adjusted. It can stun people and smash steel. Now the lion face and elephant face have a murderous mind. They no longer have a playful mentality, and naturally they will not keep their hands. The infrared ray automatically scans and locks the target, and the shoulder cannon fires one after another, killing Su Mo Ching on the eagle's face, and then focusing on the object they take care of. The Predator is a very technologically advanced race in this universe. It loves hunting. It is fun to use close combat to destroy opponents and get the first level of the enemy. Sometimes they force the spine of the prey, often from one planet to another, and enjoy it. Whether it is traditional iron blood or dark iron blood, they all regard fighting as the highest glory. Killing the stronger the enemy and obtaining their heads and skins as trophies is their favorite thing to do. Although the lion and elephant faces were astonished and angry at their companions whose prey could kill them, they quickly became excited. Only the strong have the value of hunting. But Su Mo Ching, who was locked by the shoulder cannon, was not in a very beautiful mood. A donkey rolled and evaded an energy bomb. Su Mo Ching looked a little embarrassed, but he was still relatively stable, because he still had a few cards that were useless, such as Psychic Space and Godzilla and Kostin inside. 
These two psychic beasts are very powerful, especially Godzilla, who can crush the predator by tonnage alone. But it is not the time yet. Su Mo Ching glanced at Edwin who was also running away, sneered in his heart, and ran over. The lion face and elephant face were obviously very interested in hunter Su Mo Ching, chasing them up. Su Mo Ching's speed remained at twice the speed of an ordinary person, and soon caught up with Edwin, who was not physically strong. Wow, an energy bullet came, and Su Mo Ching suddenly drew away. Edwin, who was in front of him, did not have the skills of Su Mo Ching, and was immediately hit by the energy bullet. Ah, Edwin let out a scream, his shoulder was beaten to blood, and he lay on the ground in pain. Help me, please, Edwin appealed to Su Mo Ching, the recent duo, but Su Mo Ching turned a blind eye and walked around behind a big tree. This person was scattered by the two iron blood, no one would pay too much attention to others, Su Mo Ching took the opportunity to enter the psychic space to escape with the super alloy spear. After Su Mo Ching entered the psychic space, the thermal imager on the lion and elephant faces suddenly lost the trace of Su Mo Ching. The two dark old irons looked a little bit astonished, and while raising their hearts, they continued to attack others. Although Royce and the others fought back occasionally, the effect was not satisfactory. The bullet hit the two dark old iron armors, sparks splashed and made a clang clang sound. Royce and Isabel saw that the attack did not have much effect, so they had to retreat while fighting. Save me, save me. Edwin shouted roar to save him, but it was a pity that the others were overwhelmed and didn't have the time to save him. Su Mo Ching hid in the psychic space, observing the situation outside through a gap in the space, Godzilla and Costin behind him got his orders, they were all ready and ready to go. Chased by the lion face and elephant face, Royce and the other six were driven out of the camp and ran to the back mountain. The lion face and elephant face came to Edwin, revealing his figure. Edwin is a pervert and likes to kill, but he is also afraid of death, and said in horror, Don't kill me, I. I can help you deal with those people. However, the iron and blood on the lion's face and elephant's face were obviously unmoved. I saw the iron and blood on the lion's face bend down, and the palm with its claws directly pierced into Edwin's back, grabbing Edwin's spine and pulling out forcefully. Simply neat, bloody and violent. The bloody aura made the two dark old irons very excited. Just here, Su Mo Ching saw the right time and instantly opened the psychic space to teleport the ready-to-go Godzilla and Costin. Roar, tweet. The beast roars and eagles, Godzilla, who has grown to 6 meters in size, and Costin, who has spread his wings close to 7 meters, rushes out at extremely fast speeds. The lion face was swung by a giant Godzilla's tail, and the whole person flew out, knocking down several tree stumps in succession, and was buried in the rubble. The elephant face was caught by Costin's huge amounts of eagle's claws and pressed firmly on the ground. The elephant face did not know where the giant eagle came from, but his fighting instinct still drove him to make the most advantageous moves. I saw two sharp wrist knives pop out of Shang Mian's wrists, slashing at Hai Dongqing's claws, but Su Mo Ching used a super alloy spear at the moment. At the moment Su Mo Ching was no longer hidden and completely suppressed the elephant in terms of strength. The face was iron and blood, and then he stepped on the elephant face's arm. Then he stabbed the spear mercilessly into the throat under the mask of iron and blood, and pierced the spine with one blow. Ding, congratulations to the host for killing the dark predator and rewarding 116 psychic points. After hearing the system prompt, Su Mo Ching let out a sigh of relief. To deal with the predator, you can't care about it in the slightest. The brain circuits of these predators are different from those of human beings. The left hand is equipped with a microcomputer, which is sometimes used to control special weapons or spaceships, but the essence is indeed a small and powerful bomb. Its power is even comparable to atomic bombs or even hydrogen bombs. If the brain twitches and it activates the self-detonation device, it is not a joke. On the other side, after the lion face was flew away by Godzilla, he felt that his internal organs were shocked. Now Godzilla's body is much larger than the alien queen, and his power is even more terrifying. If the lion-faced battle armor hadn't offset most of the impact for it, this tail could kill him. Without waiting for the lion face to rise, Godzilla shook the mountain one by one, leaping forward, and smashed down with the momentum of the Mount Tai. The infancy Godzilla also has the same obese physique of the same origin as the Godzilla family, 
and his own weight plus the impact of falling, weighs dozens of tons, to say nothing. The sorrowful lion's face was crushed with iron and blood, and the result can be imagined. Hearing a loud bang, smoke and dust billowing, when Godzilla got up, the lion-faced iron-blooded body was pressed into the ground, and the armor on his body was flattened, and only a pool of fluorescent color was left on the ground. Blood, death is terribly bitter. Ding, congratulations to the host for killing the dark predator and rewarding 138 psychic points. After hearing the system prompt, Su Mo Ching turned around and walked to the traditional predator Johnson damaged who was tied to a tree, and untied the chain for him. Ding, congratulations to the host for completing the task of saving the iron blood, reward 500 psychic points, and obtain the psychic beast predator Johnson. At the same time the system prompt sounded, the traditional predator Johnson placed his hand on his heart and saluted Su Mo Ching as a sign of surrender. Su Mo Ching checked the information of the predator in front of him. Necromancer, Predator, Category, Cosmic Hunter, Status, Growth Stage, Potential, Breakthrough, Strength, 6, Speed, 5, Stamina, 6, Spirit, 6, Current Level, Normal, Ability, Weapon Proficiency, Fighting Technique, Bone Extraction. Su Mo Ching had just checked the information of the Predator, and the system prompt sounded again. Does the host extract the ability of the Predator? Does the host extract the ability of the predator? Hearing the system prompt, Su Mo Ching looked at the weapon's proficiency, fighting technique, and the three abilities on the predator ability table, and immediately said, weapon proficiency. Bone extraction is useless for Su Mo Ching. Fighting technique is good, but Su Mo Ching values the equipment of the predator, so weapon proficiency is the best choice. As Su Mo Ching's words fell, a ray of light burst out from the predator, covering Su Mo Ching, but within a few seconds, the light disappeared. In Su Mo Ching's mind, there was an extra piece of information on how to use the Predator weapons, including how to drive the Predator spacecraft. Very good, very powerful. The host has completed the task of saving the iron and blood, and the current world has placed the space coordinates. Will the host return immediately? Not returning for now. Su Mo Ching did not rush back to Skull Island in the Marvel world. Now that the space coordinates have been put in, he can use psychic space as a transit point to travel between the two worlds freely, and the three dark old irons have all died. The predators of the next season will come to this planet, at least it will be another week, so there is no need to rush back. Johnson, collect equipment, Su Mo Ching said to the psychic beast iron-blooded Johnson, and then began to collect the equipment left by the three lions to Oling brothers. The three dark old irons, like Johnson, belong to novice hunters, equipped with conventional equipment such as wrist knives, spears, flying markers, and shoulder guns. However, the dark iron blood equipment is indeed stronger than the traditional iron blood. For example, the eagle face has a long range. Reconnaissance Robotic Eagle The mechanical eagle can conduct high-altitude reconnaissance, and it can also receive the voice and dialogue of the monitored object from a long distance, and it can connect with the iron-blooded mask on the eagle's face to send information back at any time. If necessary, it can also be equipped with weapons for aerial strikes. At the moment camp, only Su Mo Ching and his psychic beasts, Royce and others have run away. Su Mo Ching came to the dead eagle face, unplugged its armor and equipment, wiped the blood stains, and then skillfully installed it on himself. Among the three dark old irons, the eagle-faced body is the smallest, and the armor is incomplete, and Su Mo Ching is suitable for wearing it. Then put on the wrist knife, which is made of super alloy and can be flexibly contracted as needed. After installing the wrist knife, Su Mo Ching placed a folding spear on the groove of the back armor. This spear is also a sharp weapon. The length of the spear can be adjusted through the mechanism. It is suitable for close combat and mid-range combat, and can be projected if necessary. Whereas, it has a strong penetration. On both sides of the lion's face's waist, Su Mo Ching found two retractable six-claw flying darts. According to the information in Weapon Proficiency, Su Mo Ching knew that these flying darts were hard and corrosion-resistant, with glove-like fingers in the middle. Live can also be used for close combat, good things, put away. Su Mo Ching used to be on Skull Island before, using a simple basis, but now seeing the iron-blooded equipment, he is naturally greedy. The lion face was squashed by Godzilla, and the armor on his body was also distorted shapeshifting, and there were few good equipment left. After searching for it, 
I found a double-edged dagger on the side of its calf. The hollow of the dagger has dig marks on both sides. It is corrosion-resistant and can be used for skinning processing of special shapes. Su Moqing accepted it unceremoniously. In contrast, the preparations on the eagle face and elephant face are relatively intact. After wearing the armor and cold weapons, Su Moqing took off the mask of the eagle face. The mask is relatively high-tech. It can provide a variety of spectral scans and magnified images. It has perspective, light sensitivity, infrared detection, and alien life form detection. Measure and other functions. There is an infrared automatic aiming device on the right side of the eye, which can record and translate the language of other species. It is a powerful tool for tracking prey and understanding opponents. Wearing the mask, Su Moqing felt that there was some peculiar smell inside, and the mask was relatively large, which was not suitable for him, so he took it off and installed a plasma cannon and a microcomputer. The shoulder cannon is a powerful thermal weapon fixed on the shoulder. It is automatically tracked by the mosque's infrared rays. Its power can be large or small. It can be fired continuously to deal with large-scale enemies or heavy armored troops. It can quickly accumulate energy and then emit it instantly. Removable, even if the bracket is destroyed, it can still be used as a plasma pistol, but it needs to be charged. Once the energy is exhausted, it will be useless. The microcomputer installed on the left arm has a complicated structure. Su Moqing only knows how to use it. It can control most of the thermal weapons and high-tech equipment on his body, such as controlling spectral scanning, stealth systems, etc., and can also be used for biological analysis. The microcomputer is equipped with a laser projector, which can analyze relevant information, and is essentially a miniature bomb. After being fully equipped, Su Moqing felt like changing shotguns for cannons. It's this Biao Bayer Cool. Shuang 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 Shuang. Now it's for him to fight King Kong, and Su Moqing is confident. On the other side, Jagged Johnson is also neatly dressed. Johnson, you return to the Jagged Mother Star now, find a way to make me a suitable armor, and prepare some powerful weapons, if you are ready, find a chance to channel me. Su Moqing gave an order to Johnson. Channeling is two-way. Su Moqing can channel Jagged Johnson to his world, and Jagged Johnson can also channel back to his world, but this requires Su Moqing's will. Yes master. Johnson slapped his heart respectfully with one hand, saluted, and then pressed his fingers on the microcomputer on his left arm a few times, and then the invisible spaceship appeared not far from the camp. Johnson stepped onto the spacecraft, and then saw the spacecraft's engine start and quickly disappeared into the sky. After seeing Johnson left, Su Moqing also took Godzilla, and Hai Dongqing returned to psychic space. As for Royce and others, Su Moqing did not pay attention to them. They were not familiar with them, and these people were not good stubbles. Although Su Moqing could let iron-blooded Johnson send them back to Earth, there was no small risk in doing so. People's hearts are unpredictable. Who knows if these people will turn their faces when they arrive on Earth? For Su Moqing, Johnson is a very advantageous helper, taking risks for them, not worth it. And even if Royce and others don't turn their faces, they will definitely reveal the information of the predator, adding some unpredictable variables. For Su Moqing, it was harmful and unprofitable. Without killing people and killing his mouth, Su Moqing had already done his best. Su Moqing doesn't owe these people anything. Whether they can live on this planet depends on their own abilities. After returning to psychic space, Su Moqing called up his personal interface. Host. Su Moqing. Current psychic points. 3769. Level. Early elite. Psychic creatures. Godzilla. Costume. Predator. Ability. Monster physique. Eagle eye. Weapon proficiency. After checking, Su Moqing, fully armed, left from psychic space and re-entered Skull Island. On the edge of Skull Island, in the dense woods, the sky is clear and the sun is shining brightly. Su Moqing stood quietly on a big tree, wearing the equipment of a predator, entered invisible mode, and integrated with the surrounding environment. Not far in front of the big tree, is a 15-meter-high Tyrannosaurus rex, rough skin, huge body, and huge amounts of sharp teeth, all showing its status as a top predator. In Skull Island, Tyrannosaurus rex belongs to the second stage creature at the top of the food chain. Except for a few monsters such as King Kong and Skeleton Lizard, it will eat whoever wants to eat. 
This time Su Mo Ching's goal was this Tyrannosaurus Rex. Su Mo Ching and his psychic beasts Godzilla and Costin all need food, and can earn psychic points by the way, why not do it? In his plan, indiscriminate killing is not advisable, he needs to maintain a certain ecological balance of Skull Island. What was hunted yesterday was an underage lone reef bull demon and dozens of wings of Icarus. The difficulty coefficient was not high. Today Su Mo Ching decided to increase the difficulty a little. At the moment, Tyrannosaurus Rex felt a little hungry, and the large lantern eyes patrolled around, looking for prey. Wow, a blue energy bomb suddenly flew out and hit the Tyrannosaurus Rex's neck, instantly exploding a file-sized blood hole in the mouth of the bull. Wow, the sudden attack made the Tyrannosaurus Rex pain roar, and blood was flowing in the neck and neck, but such injuries were not fatal to the huge Tyrannosaurus Rex. After launching a shoulder cannon, Su Mo Ching removed the folding spear from his back and shook his hand. The spear, which was originally only four arms long, instantly stretched to two meters. Wow, the roar of the injured Tyrannosaurus Rex shook the fallen leaves, and the stench of the stench made people vomit, and slammed into the giant tree where Su Mo Ching was. Su Mo Ching didn't know whether the Tyrannosaurus had discovered him or rushed indiscriminately, and immediately jumped from the trunk. At the moment when Su Mo Ching provoked, the big tree hug by the two under his feet was hit by the huge body of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. With a click, a trace of fracture was produced. Among the leaves falling all over the sky, the invisible Su Mo Ching held up his spear, and with the help of the downward thrust, he stabbed the Tyrannosaurus Rex's head fiercely. The sharp superalloy spear, combined with Su Mo Ching's far superior power, instantly pierced the skin of Tyrannosaurus Rex, pierced through the hard skull, and plunged into the spear with a tip of nearly one meter. After stabbing the spear, Su Mo Ching did not stop, stepped on the head of the Tyrannosaurus with one foot, and jumped to the side. He knows very well that Tyrannosaurus Rex's vitality is strong, even if the whole spear is submerged in the Tyrannosaurus head, it may not cause the opponent to die immediately. Plop, Su Mo Ching jumped more than 10 meters, dropped some of the impact on the ground, and then took a run up to a certain distance, turned his head to look at the Tyrannosaurus, and found that the Tyrannosaurus was falling to the ground, his huge body was rolling painfully, and both of them grabbed forward. Randomly tearing everything around. Psychicism, come out, Godzilla. Su Mo Ching put on what he thought was handsome, and slapped the ground with one hand. The nearly 7-meter-high Godzilla instantly appeared from the crack in the space in front of him. Seeing the fallen Tyrannosaurus Queen, he rushed to the Tyrannosaurus Rex in a few steps. In front of, opened his mouth to bite the injured neck of Tyrannosaurus Rex. Stab. Under the powerful bite force, the sharp teeth like a dagger tore a large piece of flesh directly from the neck of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wow, the Tyrannosaurus wanted to get up but in terms of strength alone, the relatively small Godzilla was not weaker than it. Moreover, the Tyrannosaurus Rex suffered successive injuries, and the central nervous system of the head was damaged by Su Mo Ching's spear, making it impossible to perform effectively. After struggling for a few times, he was killed by Godzilla. Ding, congratulations to the host for killing the Tyrannosaurus Rex and rewarding 360 psychic points. After confirming the death of Tyrannosaurus, Su Mo Ching walked to the corpse of Tyrannosaurus, grabbed the folding spear and twisted it. The spear shrank instantly. After Su Mo Ching wiped it clean, he opened the psychic space and asked Godzilla to take the Tyrannosaurus. Dragged his body in. This Tyrannosaurus weighed more than 20 tons, enough for Su Mo Ching, Godzilla and Costin to eat for two days. The main reason is that Godzilla, the child, has a relatively large appetite, after all, he is still in the stage of growing his body. In fact, for Godzilla and Su Mo Ching, who has monster physique, the best ingredients are nuclear energy and radioactive materials. G cells exist in their bodies and possess extremely strong regeneration capabilities. There is no need to worry about the aging of cells and individuals at all. In theory, their lifespan is unlimited. Moreover, G cells can absorb nuclear energy and radioactive materials and convert them into bioelectricity, making Su Mo Ching and Godzilla grow explosively. However, Su Mo Ching can't get things like nuclear bombs or nuclear fuel for the time being. Maybe Jia Shui Johnson can find a way, but it's impossible to get too much. After all, Johnson is just an ordinary iron blood. He has limited power on the iron blood planet. There is no problem with getting some equipment 
but if the action is too large, other iron soldiers may find abnormalities. If it is exposed and killed, then Su Mo Ching will lose out. Perhaps it was time to think of a way to improve Johnson's position in the Predator clan, so that both Johnson and Su Mo Ching would have huge amounts of benefits. These are all things. The battle to solve the Tyrannosaurus Rex was very fast, only two minutes before and after, which was easier than expected, thanks to the equipment of the Predator. After a while of the old man, the Tyrannosaurus was caught off guard. When Godzilla dragged the corpse of the Tyrannosaurus into the psychic space, Su Mo Ching was also ready to return. After all, the psychic space is absolutely safe compared to Skull Island where monsters are endless. But Su Mo Ching strengthened a lot of ears, but there was a mechanical roar of, woo. Looking up, I saw two old-fashioned planes flying towards Skull Island from the direction of the distant coastline. The fuselages of the two planes were full of black smoke. After a while, Su Mo Ching saw the pilot abandoning the plane and parachuting, slowly landing towards the beach. This kind of old-fashioned airplane should be from the Second World War. Is this scene from the beginning of, King Kong Skull Island? Su Mo Ching thought for a while, he remembered the general plot of, King Kong Skull Island, but the names of the characters in it did not have much impression. After thinking about it, Su Mo Ching decided to step forward to take a look at the situation and casually confirm the time period in this world. Su Mo Ching was more than 10 kilometers away from the beach, summoned Hai Dongqing, Yu Ying flew into the sky, and headed towards the beach. All the way hurriedly, but in a short moment, Kostin flew over the beach. Over the South Pacific, flightman Mark Hank was driving a P-47 Thunderfighter, chasing a Japanese Type-0 fighter, but during the battle, his fighter was hit and he parachuted helplessly and landed on an unknown desert island. Looking up, the Japanese fighter that was hit by him also began to fall, but the opponent's pilot also parachuted down. Mark immediately untied the parachute, and then ran over, only to see an imperialist Japanese flightman just climbed out from under the parachute and immediately took out a pistol and fired. Boom boom, Mark fired six shots in a row, but maybe it was because of nervousness, or the shooting technique was so stinky that he didn't even hit the opponent with a single shot. The Japanese flightman Gunpei Kazuko had already closed his eyes and waited for his death. Who knew that the opponent didn't even hit him at a distance of 50 meters, and he immediately smiled after the disaster. You are dead. Gunping took out the safety buckle of the parachute, coquettishly took out the pistol, and aimed at the Yankee in front of him and pulled the trigger. Bang. Ah, also missed. Mark recovered, turned around and ran. Junping caught up with him regardless, and shot as he ran, but the magazine was empty and he could not hit Mark. Both of them had no bullets in their pistols, but Gunpei had a katana and a short knife on his waist, so he had the advantage. Mark was empty-handed, but didn't want to play empty-handed, so he was chased and ran away. The two chased, gradually approaching the jungle on the edge of the beach. Tweet. Suddenly, a loud eagle sounded, and then the shadow of huge amounts of flashed by, bringing a gust of wind. Oh my god, what the hell? How can there be such huge amounts of eagle in this world? Mark and Junping Yiguang saw a great eagle flying by about 7 meters with wings spread over their heads, and they were shocked in their hearts. Go down. Su Mo Ching stood on Hai Dongqing's back, looked at the two people below, and gave orders to Hai Dongqing. Kostin whirled in the air, then dived down. God, there are people on this giant eagle's back. Mark watched the giant eagle fly back, and there was an eastern man in strange clothes standing on his back, with his mask off he couldn't believe his eyes. Gunpei Kazuko was also very nervous, holding Katana tightly. Kostin was close to the ground, the two-meter-long eagle wings flapped, flying sand and rocks, and the sand on the beach was blown up, making Mark and Junping Yiguang to cover their mouth, nose and eyes with their hands. After Hai Dongqing landed, Su Mo Ching, wearing the armor of the predator, jumped from the eagle's back and landed in front of the two. Follow me if you don't want to die. Su Mo Ching spoke Hua Sha but when Mark and Junping heard it, they automatically translated it into English and Japanese. The plane of the two crashed just now, and there was a lot of noise. It was easy to attract King Kong or the skeleton monitor lizard. Mark and Gunping waved their hands, slapped the gravel on their bodies, and then looked at the heavily armed Su Mo Ching and the giant eagle behind. They were not sure they could do it before. They looked at each other. The moment before, they were facing each other. The two reached a tacit understanding in an instant. 
Mark asked, who are you and where are you? Su Moching, this is Skull Island, there is no time to explain, get in the car, no, it's the Eagle Claw. As Su Moching spoke, he felt a slight vibration on the ground, and the frequency of the vibration was getting higher and higher. Obviously, a behemoth was approaching. Mark and Gunping Yiguang did not immediately believe Su Moching, but at the moment they seemed to have no other choice, and cautiously followed. Su Moching asked them to hug Costin's eagle claws, and then jumped on Costin's back, letting Costin take off. Tweet. With a kick on Costin's feet, a flap of huge amounts of wings, flying with the three of them. Although Mark and Gunpei Yiguang were flight crews, they took off in such a situation for the first time. They both clung to Costin's eagle for fear of falling. When Costin rose to an altitude of 300 meters, Su Moching stood condescendingly and saw King Kong, which had grown to a height of 30 meters, more than 20 miles away. King Kong is a cosmic monster, now in its infancy and growing very fast. Su Moching remembered that monsters such as Godzilla and Ghidorah also appeared in the Easter eggs of King Kong Skull Island. The United States even formulated an emperor plan for this purpose. But these are many years later. At the moment Su Moching drove Hai Dongqing, leading Mark and Junping around King Kong, heading towards a high mountain, ready to ask about the situation outside. The other side, as the Asgardian of Skull Island, King Kong's personality is not bad, at least for general herbivores, King Kong generally does not attack actively. King Kong is an omnivorous animal, and meat and vegetables are not taboo, but King Kong generally does not attack meek animals. Even if he eats meat, he also eats those ferocious carnivores, or some dead animals, and sometimes goes to the small ones the two people of Skull Island where to eat some offerings. It's a protection fee. Today King Kong was patrolling its territory, but when he heard a sound from a distance, accompanied by heavy smoke, he immediately decided to take a look. The wisdom of King Kong is equivalent to that of a human being five or six years old. He has his own cognition and hates flames, because every accidental forest fire will burn many things, including the food it likes to eat, and make him hungry. Therefore, King Kong with experience will go to extinguish the fire as soon as he finds where the forest is burning. When King Kong walked to the beach, Mark and Gunping Yiguang's plane was about to burn into an iron frame. King Kong took a large amount of mud and sand with his big hands, buried it, and saw that the fire was completely extinguished, and then left contentedly. Today, the fire was extinguished to prevent the forest fire from happening. King Kong thought he was great. And on a high mountain, Su Moching asked Mark and Junping about the situation of the outside world. It is known from the two populations that it is now in early 1944, World War II is in full swing, and many countries have participated in this tragic war. After getting the information he wanted, Su Moching explained the situation of Skull Island to the two of them, then gave them some food, and rode away on Costin alone. They couldn't run on Skull Island anyway, just keep it here and let them fend for themselves. According to Marvel's plot, in 1944, World War II was drawing to a close. Counting out, Captain America was born around this time period, maybe. In Psychic Space, Su Moching thought about the plot about Marvel, and felt that the world was so big that he should go out and take a look. At this point, Su Moching sensed the call of Jia Shui Johnson, and immediately moved away from the psychic space. When Su Moching reappeared, he had already crossed the universe and appeared in a spaceship full of science fiction. And in front of him, it was the psychic beast, Iron Blooded Johnson. Next to it is a cool black armor tailored for Su Moching. Jagged Star. Because the predator has always been a deadly tradition and is excellent in population control, the number of predators is not very large, and the entire predator is more than 50 million people. It can be said that the land is vast and sparsely populated. Jia Shui Johnson owns an independent residence of several thousand square meters. In the wide underground warehouse, three small spaceships are parked. Inside one of the spacecraft, sensing Johnson's call, Su Moching sent it through psychic space. Jia Shui Johnson pointed to the armor tailored for Su Moching next to him and said, Master, the armor you want is ready. Well done. Su Moching looked at the cool black armor placed on the metal table, very satisfied, and was about to take off the original iron-blooded armor and replace it with a new armor. After wearing a special black helmet, it is almost like a future warrior. This armor is a full-body armor, 
which can cover the entire body and is also very wearable. In addition to the original equipment, it is also equipped with two plasma hand cannons and five bomb flying darts. After Su Mo Ching was dressed neatly, Johnson took out a few boxes from the cabinet next to him, and respectfully said, Master, this is the regular clothes prepared for you according to your request. I have all the information in my control. Please check it out. Quote. Very good. Su Mo Ching briefly checked, and then asked Johnson to put the things back. After restoring things, Johnson Wei reported, Master, because I brought back the head of the fallen person, the elephant face iron blood, the elders of the clan gave me special approval, let me spend two days in advance for the coming of age ceremony. Su Mo Ching nodded when he heard the words, That's fine, if you run into trouble, call me in time. After the predator passes the coming of age ceremony, he can obtain higher privileges, and what he will do in the future is much more convenient. After thinking about it, Su Mo Ching said again, By the way, if you have time to pay attention to nuclear fuel, you can get some of the best. Understand, Johnson said respectfully, so be it. As Su Mo Ching said, Johnson withdrew from the small spacecraft. After a while, Su Mo Ching disappeared into the basement together with the small spaceship just now. The United States, New York City. A small invisible spaceship landed on the shore of a sparsely populated lake. Putting the spaceship into the psychic space and putting on a leather coat, Su Mo Ching swaggered towards the center of New York. Walking on the slab paved street, Su Mo Ching watched the surrounding environment. New York City in the 1940s had a unique sense of age. In this era, the status of Washa people is not high. Su Mo Ching's typical oriental face, coupled with the bright leather coat prepared for him by iron blooded Johnson, seems to some people to be a moving fat sheep. Su Mo Ching quickly noticed a few unkind eyes, with a smile on the corner of his mouth, after walking for a while, he picked a remote alley and walked in. After a while, three tall Americans followed. What about people? I saw him come in just now, how come I disappeared in a blink of an eye? The words of the three fell, and then one of them fainted suddenly. Kelly, what are you? The man who spoke, before he finished speaking, he felt a strong knock on the back of his head, and then fainted. The remaining man named Wit felt wrong, and immediately wanted to run, but just after taking two steps, he was knocked out by the invisible Su Mo Ching. After knocking out the three of them, Su Mo Ching took off his helmet and exited from invisibility. Then, in the pockets of the three of them, he received sixty dollars in bills. After clapping his hands, Su Mo Ching walked out of the alley and bought some snacks from a street stall to change his taste. New York City is very big, and Su Mo Ching doesn't know exactly where Captain America is, so he decided to find Howard Stark, the father of Iron Man Tony. Howard Stark is a young rich man, arms dealer, talented scientist, and playboy. Every identity attracts attention. Su Mo Ching asks someone casually, and learns some news about Howard. Time flies by. At night, tomorrow's World Expo. After having dinner, Su Mo Ching, after paying $10 for the ticket, walked into the expo, walked around for half a circle, and found the booth of the Stark group. A lot of people gathered around the at-the-moment booth. Su Mo Ching squeezed to the front and saw a red car on the booth. In front of the car, five girls with hot bodies stood. It seems that the profession of car model has emerged in this era. Most of the men around are watching cars or beautiful women, but I don't know. At this moment, two men and two women squeezed in behind Su Mo Ching. Su Mo Ching glanced back, and immediately understood the identities of the two men. The thin and short is Steve Rogers, the future captain of the United States. The friend in military uniform next to him is Steve's good friend, Bucky Barnes, who will be the winter soldier in the future. Su Mo Ching did not go up to strike up a conversation, but turned to look at the booth. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to invite Mr. Howard to appear. With the roar of a blonde girl, a mustache wearing a suit and walking with wind walked onto the booth. After Howard came to the stage, he first kissed the blonde, then wiped his mouth with a paper towel coquettishly, and then picked up the microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you, as long as it's too short a few in 2016, your car will no longer have to touch the ground. When Howard spoke, several beautiful assistants took away the tires of the car from the booth. With the gravity reversal technology developed by Stark, everything is possible. 
Howard activated the anti-gravity device in people's surprised eyes. I saw the cars on the booth gradually floated up, and the crowd below seemed very surprised when they saw it, and then sent warm applause and joy roar. Howard smiled triumphantly, and suddenly, the anti-gravity device of the car flashed a bright electric spark, and then it fell down. Howard, who is only three seconds handsome, was a little embarrassed, so he said humorously, I said it will be a few years later, right? Although this show was not a success, the car did float up against gravity. Although it was only a few seconds, it surprised the people in the audience, and once again gave Howard Stark a warm applause. After a while, the crowd gradually dispersed, and Steve and his friend Bucky left with their female companions to the U.S. Soldier Recruitment Center in the exhibition. Su Moching did not follow, but found Howard who was surrounded by reporters. Hi, Mr. Howard, would you like to have a chat? Just getting rid of the reporter, Howard, who was about to pick up girls at the farewell reception, heard someone call him, he was still a man, and said he was not interested. However, after seeing a drawing that Su Moching took out, he suddenly changed his mind. Where did you get this thing? Howard looked at the blueprint of the anti-gravity engine and asked eagerly. This drawing records part of the formula for the anti-gravity engine of the Predator spacecraft, but it is not comprehensive, but even so, it is much more perfect than what Howard has studied. Seeing Howard took the bait, Su Moching smiled and said, Mr. Howard, I think we can sit down and have a drink and then talk slowly. A farewell meeting for the recruits who are about to enter the battlefield. Su Moching and Howard sat at the table, and Howard said anxiously, Say, what do you want? It's very simple, first, get me a legal identity in the United States. Su Moching said lightly. Howard said, this is okay, what else? In this era, the United States has many overseas Chinese who have illegally migrated. It is very simple for Howard to obtain a legal identity. Second, I want 10% of Stark Group's shares. Su Moching stated the second condition. When Howard heard this, he seemed a little hesitant. Stark Group is his painstaking effort. 10% of the shares are worth hundreds of millions at the current market value. Although the anti-gravity engine is a cross-age technology, he believes that as long as he is given time, he himself can also be studied. However, once this technology falls into the hands of competitors, it will cause considerable losses to the Stark group. After thinking about it again and again, Stark nodded and said, yes, but you have no shareholder decision-making power. No problem. Su Moching nodded and agreed, the reason for wanting the shares of Stark Group is just a foothold. He now has the cutting-edge technology of the Predator, which is hundreds of years ahead of this era not counting the black technology and it is not impossible to set up a company by himself. However, when he first arrived, he is still unclear about many rules, and it will take some time to adapt before he can integrate into this society. The Stark Group is just a springboard for him. Howard just made a phone call and solved the problem of Su Moching's identity. However, it will take a few days to get the Stark Group's share transfer agreement. The cooperation between the two parties was a pleasant one. In the end, Su Moching handed over the complete anti-gravity engine drawing to Howard, but he advanced some money in advance and bought an independent villa in Queens. On the third day, night, Su Moching lay on the bed on the second floor of the villa, dazed, feeling a faint noise coming from downstairs. Getting up from the bed, Su Moching went straight downstairs and walked in the direction of the sound. When I came to the kitchen, I saw a little girl with blue skin and brown hair. Su Moching was stunned, isn't this my cousin Mystique? Ah, little Mystique was holding the bread, and when he looked back at Su Moching, he was shocked, and then he made a vicious hiss, as if he wanted to scare Su Moching. Mystique's appearance is different from ordinary people. If he is an ordinary person, he might think that he saw a ghost. In the Middle Ages, he might even be burned to death by the devil. But in Su Moching's eyes, it was a little cute. Seeing Su Moching unmoved, little Mystique said, aren't you afraid of me? Why should I be afraid? Su Moching smiled. After staying in Skull Island for a while, and seeing the horrible face of the predator, Su Moching now looks at Godzilla and feels beautiful, not to mention the little mystique who has an alternative beauty. He smiled and said, little guy, my name is Su Moching, what's your name? My name is Raven, Raven said nervously, Gurulu. 
Suddenly, there was a rumbling noise in his stomach, and Raven's little face was a little hot, but it was not noticeable because of his skin. It looks like you are hungry. You can eat this thing as you like without stealing it. Su Moching pointed to the food piled up in the kitchen, looking very generous. Raven's ability is very good, and it looks attractive, and it is an object worth training. Really, when Raven heard the words, a bright smile appeared on her face. For her, being able to eat and eat is a lot of happiness. Definitely, in fact, you don't have to steal any more. I can give you enough food and let you go to school. Su Moching nodded. Raven is a child. Seeing that Su Moching didn't reject her, but wanted to adopt her, she smiled and felt that she was lucky. Su Moching is also in a good mood. If you adopt Mystique today, you will be able to reap a big cousin in the future. And Mystique's potential is very high. He remembers that Sentinel in X-Men, reversing the future, is because of Mystique's DNA, he can change the shape-shifting state at will and crush other mutants. On the other hand, Mystique also has this kind of ability, which not only can change the shape, but also includes copying mutants' DNA to obtain the other party's super ability. If this ability can be fully developed, it is definitely a heaven-defying ability. After Little Raven was full, Su Mo Ching asked her to rest in the guest room next to her. The next day, after breakfast, Su Mo Ching took Raven, who became a normal person, to buy a few fitting clothes and then went through the enrollment procedures for her. The rich is the uncle, this set works everywhere at home and abroad, at least for ordinary people. At the moment, Su Mo Ching did not plan on Captain America's plot development. After getting the shares of Stark Group, Su Mo Ching hired several maids to take care of the villa and take care of Raven by the way, while driving a small spacecraft to China for a trip. The Hua Sha of this world is very close to the history of Su Mo Ching's original world. In 1944, China was full of wars. Facing the ferocious invasion and abuse of the island nation, the people of China were living in dire straits. Every day, many innocent people died in the flames of war. Without seeing the war in person, it is hard to imagine how cruel it is. When Su Mo Ching drove an invisible small spacecraft through a village, a group of devils were slaughtering the village, regardless of men, women, old or young, these devils were not let go, and some young women were ruined by these inferior animals. Su Mo Ching was so angry that he parked the spaceship outside the village, and jumped off the spaceship wearing a battle armor tailored for him by Johnson. With a few taps of his finger on the microcomputer, Su Mo Ching entered the invisible mode and quickly rushed into the village. At the moment the village had been lit, the fire was burning the houses, some devils laughed unscrupulously, and some women screamed. Su Mo Ching took off the folding spear behind him, turned it around, stretched the spear, and then directly pierced the back of a mustache devil, stabbed it out of the front chest, and the shoulder gun automatically aimed at the other devil. Destroy it in one shot. Ding, congratulations on killing Japanese Taro Ono, reward two psychic points. Ding, congratulations on killing the Japanese Watanabe River, reward two psychic points. Su Mo Ching killed two people in a row without any discomfort. It felt like killing a beast. Enemy attack. Where is the enemy? The other devils also noticed the situation, but they couldn't see Su Mo Ching's appearance. Su Mo Ching drew out the spear and threw it at the nearest devils who was over 1.5 meters high. The spear pierced the devil's head and nailed it directly to the wall, and then moved body shape, shoulder cannon fired from time to time, every blow can kill a devil. Ding, congratulations to the host for killing Jiro Harada and rewarding two psychic points. Ding, congratulations to the host for killing Teodi Village 1 and rewarding one psychic point. Ding, congratulations to the host for killing Inoue Yuta and reward two psychic points. A series of system prompts sounded one after another. This was an overwhelming massacre, but the target of the massacre became the devil who burned, killed, and looted. Ten minutes later, dozens of devils in the village were all killed by Su Mo Ching. Among them, several devils pretended to be dead trying to fool Su Mo Ching, but unfortunately under the thermal imaging scan and system prompts. Want to pretend to be dead and escaped, it doesn't exist. Su Mo Ching went up and made a cut, ending their sinful life. At the moment, the fire in the village had spread, and the thermal vision of Su Mo Ching's helmet was disturbed, so Su Mo Ching switched the viewing angle to normal mode. I looked around and found that there were only a few villagers still alive in the village. 
After saving them from the burning house, Su Moching left behind some living things and walked into a state of invisibility and stopped outside the village. Spaceship. In this land, scenes like this happen every day. To be honest, Su Moching couldn't manage, so he could only give the other party some help if he could. Perhaps because of seeing the innocent villagers who were killed, Su Moching felt a little uncomfortable, so he would definitely make a big vote and glanced at the two microcomputers next to the cab. These two microcomputers were left behind by the eagle faced iron blood and the elephant face iron blood. They have been useless before, and they should be useful for shooting now. Su Moching piloted the spacecraft with indifferent eyes and flew towards the headquarters established by the island nation in North and South China. Half an hour later, a mushroom cloud rose in each of the two devil bases. While tens of thousands of devils were wiped out in ashes, Su Moching also gained more than 130,000 psychic points. Host Su Moching, current psychic points 143,060. Level Early Elite Psychic Creatures Godzilla, Costume, Predator. Ability Monster Physique, Eagle Eye, Weapon Proficiency. Unexpectedly, the harvest this time was so great, it seems that if you want to earn psychic points, the map cannon is the king. Looking at the soaring points on the personal interface, Su Moching felt relieved. He killed two devil headquarters in one fell swoop and obtained massive psychic points at the same time, which can be described as killing two birds with one stone. As for what impact it will bring to the battle, it is not a question for Su Moching. With more than 100,000 psychic points, he can already redeem a disaster level, psychic beast, and what Su Moching wants to exchange for a psychic beast. Here to explain again, the levels of psychic beasts are divided into seven levels, ordinary, elite, army breaking, disaster, world destruction, universe, and god. The higher the level, the larger the span, and it is generally regarded as a regular creature, such as lions, tigers, rabbits, and dogs. Elites are relatively powerful, such as adult aliens and low-level monsters. In the early stage of breaking the army, it can fight against an ancient force of a thousand soldiers, and in the late stage of breaking the army, it can fight against ten thousand people. In the early stage of the disaster, an ancient small country can be destroyed, and in the later stage of the disaster, a large country can be destroyed. As for the extinction of the world, the universe, and the gods, the span is even greater, and every small level is different. The exchange of psychic beasts is based on the potential of psychic beasts and the existing actual combat abilities. For example, Godzilla, even if it is only in its infancy, has only normal combat power, but because of the potential of UU Cosmos level, there are a lot of psychic points that can be exchanged. Definitely, they can also be directly exchanged for powerful psychic beasts, but their potential has reached the peak, and there is not much room for improvement. Unless there is any special opportunity, it is difficult to go further. Both have their own advantages and disadvantages. How to choose depends on Su Moching's ideas. At the moment Su Moching turned on the autopilot mode and headed to the land of Bashu, which was his original hometown of the world. Although this world is different, Su Moching still wants to see it, which is a wish. And I entered the psychic space and said to the system, the system, mobilize me a psychic beast that can be exchanged for 140,000 psychic points. When Su Moching's words fell, many powerful psychic beasts appeared in his eyes, including some potential juvenile psychic beasts. To exchange for a normal level psychic beast, you need psychic points ranging from 10 to 99. Elite psychic beasts require 99 to 999 psychic points. To break an army level psychic beast, 1,000 to 49,000 psychic points are required. The disaster level psychic beasts need 50,000 to 49 million. The higher you go, the stronger the psychic beast, the greater the potential, and the more psychic points you need. Disaster level psychic beasts have the power to destroy the country, such as the nine tailed monster fox, the western dragon, the Pacific Rim monster, and so on. After choosing among them, Su Moching selected a three headed hell dog in the growth stage. Does the host confirm to exchange the three headed hell dog? Confirm. As Su Moching's words fell, 140,000 psychic points on his personal interface were instantly deducted. At the same time, a void crack occurred in the psychic space and a giant dog more than 3 meters high and full of flames appeared in front of Su Moching's eyes. This giant dog has three vicious heads, each with a big mouth full of fangs, 
faintly visible flames, and looks very mighty. Psychic Beast. Hell's Three-Headed Dog. Category. Magic. Status. Growth Stage. Potential. Disaster Level. Current Level. Mid-Breaking Army. Ability. Hellfire. Change Body Shape. Devour Soul. Fast Regeneration. Just as Su Mo Ching checked the attributes of the Hell Three-Headed Dog, the system prompt sounded again. Congratulations to the host for acquiring the Three-Headed Hell Dog, please choose an ability. Su Mo Ching glanced at the attribute list of Hell's Three-Headed Dog, and Quick Regeneration was the first to be ruled out because he already possessed Monster Physique and originally possessed Powerful Self-Healing Ability. Next is Eat Soul, he is not a Soul Eater again. Changing the body shape, it seems to be interesting. Through the introduction of the system, this ability can become larger or smaller according to your physical fitness. Seeing this, Su Mo Ching had a bold idea, but did not implement it, because the ability of Hellfire is so cool. According to the system's prompts, Hellfire can burn most of the world's substances, or does not harm anything the user touches, and is not bound by natural laws. Water and vacuum environment cannot have any effect on Hellfire. It can be used as a long-range attack skill to launch against the enemy. It can burn the soul and body of the enemy, and it can also be controlled by the user as a large-scale energy explosion, attacking a large area, such as forming a rain of fire in the sky and burning the enemy. It can also be attached to the object the user wants, change its shape, and give the ability to walk on any terrain, or it can be loaded into a firearm and turned into a bullet to damage the enemy. Or enchant various weapons to increase fire damage, or even enchant various vehicles for users to demonize and control. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.